Yep, audio is off. All right, we are here. What is up, YouTube? Thank <laughs> God the audio is audio is off. <laughs> Chris over here talking about his shits, and it's been a weird, weird day. <laughs> weird day. Um, hope everybody's having a good day. We're having a great time here, uh, waiting on storms to fire. Not sure if they will or not. Um, we had a couple of storms earlier uh, in the uh, in uh, east of Dallas. Do the uh, Ryan Hall. Uh, uh, <laughs> we uh, are going to look to the west uh, and near San Angela. San Angela, there's a storm. It looks like it's going through a split right now. That's actually where we were chased yesterday, um, west of Brady. Right now, I am just west of DFW in a, in a pretty big town called Weatherford. So, um, watching that storm down near, down near San Angelo, hoping a storm can at least get going in our region. Um, models have been nothing short of garbage so far today. Um, so pretty much just looking at satellite to see what can get going and what, what can't. So, um, thanks Trish. Uh, appreciate that, uh, super chat. If you'd like to super chat or, uh, or donate or con uh, contribute to the stream, much appreciated that all, everything goes to expenses. Um, uh, as far as like food, gas, all that, uh, hotel. So much, much appreciated. You do not have to. Specifically Godfather's Pizza. Specifically Godfather's Pizza that we have had a lot of because I have been board eating <laughs> today. We had to be out of our hotel at 11 o'clock. We had barbecue with Zach Hall at noon. And we've been sitting in a Love's parking lot for four and a half hours. <laughs> Chris, Hall has taken, Chris Hall has taken two naps. And we have had the same view of nothing for four and a half hours. So that's the reason why we've continued to push the start back. Um, looks like some, ooh, 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 ooh. Looks like some convection is starting out west of our area. It's gonna be fairly isolated the next several hours with more widespread storms overnight and early tomorrow morning. Bet she's talking about San Angelo storm. I bet he is. <laughs> I am not driving all that way. We've got to be able to get back and chase tomorrow. And if I drive three hours out, Jesus, if I drive three hours out, then I'm already having pulling all night or so. I can roll, roll your window down. What are you listening to? Well, who's that? Brian says hi. Hey, how are you? So you can hear me. Uh, really just joking around. There's really nothing to chase right now. <laughs> yeah, sitting here probably for no reason. Yeah. <gasps> hey, that sounds like half the chasers. Yeah. Taking a thunderstorm and turning it into a tornado. Brad, well, Brad said it said that he <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow in Dixie. We had a, we had a super seller as well. It blew up here yesterday with like a dial station on it. And the only thing photographed more than the, than the actual uh, storm was everybody on the wall of the station. Taking selfies? Taking selfies in front of them. Hey Q, thanks for that uh, super chat. Appreciate that, man. But I, I'll call, you, I'll call you tonight when I go on the road. What's that? We're still waiting on storms to get going. I didn't want to push the stream back anymore, so um, we're just kind of waiting for right now. This is going to be a fun stream, though. We're going to be joking around old stuff. So, so yesterday, I, I like changed my entire day strategy. What did you What did you do? All the red dots hit that gravel road, cut back up onto the town just to get away from all of them. Yep. And then saw this crap, and I was like, all right, I'm fine. Went back to yep. And there was nobody on it. There was nobody on it. Right. I was there first though. You were? <laughs> I saw you over there. 
I saw your text message like two hours after I when I looked at my phone. Hey, are you over there? <laughs> I was like, I was, I was the only one there for a longest time. So yeah. Like, yeah. Nice. I mean, that, that looked pretty good too. That storm looked pretty good. Dang, damn it. Freaking well, it was like, you know how, how sometimes you get these giant, beautiful, perfect supercells? Yeah. You're about to have a couple, I believe. <laughs> I rolled up my window. So, hey, came in here nice. Do what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Maybe we should pick an area with less traffic. All right, we'll follow you. Let's go I'll find somewhere. Find All right, let's go find somewhere. I'm if sorry. you, hey, <laughs> don't drive all the way back to Mississippi just yet. <laughs> We're on the move. First time in four and a half hours. I'm sorry, ahead of time. Uh, ahead of time for what? Just see. What did you do? Fart? No, not yet. What? What did you do? Not yet. I swear to, I will, I will. Do bad things to you if you pass gas in my car right now. Oh, <laughs> not naughty things, bad oh. things. Oh, jeez, clip it. On the road again. So today, like I was saying earlier, to kind of explain the setup. Oh, far. Um, it's gonna be an isolated supercell Can setup. We clear this? Uh, maybe. Hang <laughs> on, <it>, Brandon. <laughs> you want to look? Cause that's gonna be close. Yeah, give me just a second. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, we're good. All right, let me in. <laughs> Somebody just did a super chat for air freshener. <laughs> hey, you're <laughs> we, rolled, we rolled the window up. We rolled the window up, and he was like, "You're gonna hate me." I was like, "If you fart in my car, I'm gonna kick you in the nuts right now." <laughs> so somebody give me a super chat for. for an I just air hope freshener. the wind's not blowing inwards. <laughs> Jackass over there is just over there farting up a storm. <laughs> Maybe it'll uh, bring the dew points up. It happens. Oh, here, hold on, I'll help that. What happened? What happened? Wedge. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Good God. Man, what a day. <laughs> I haven't even seen the sunshine today. Yeah, we did. I haven't seen sunshine today. You're lying. Oh, yeah, for two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for two seconds we saw it. Who was that that gave the super chat for five bucks? Pre appreciate that, Amanda. Thank you. I pulled up in uh, Bucky's. Bucky's? Yeah. Oh, and uh, yeah, Girl. yeah. Hotel Is that what you had for lunch? Hotel kicked me out. Not at, uh, Jersey Mike's. Dude, I, I looked for Better a restaurant. Better Burger Carol, like the highest rated restaurant in all of Carol and Olive Garden. I was like, all right. I'm <laughs> we had a good barbecue place with uh, Zach Hall. Yeah. Um, Rail Railhead or something. It's, on the, it's near, near the TC campus. By the way, I, I can't break it to Jonathan, but I got the Bucky's, the beaver nuggets that are like the cinnamon. They're not that good. It tastes like fake food. Well, I love Bucky's. It's great. It's clean. Yeah. Gas, yeah. Gas, the, bug, the beaver it's nuggets are not really that good. Yeah. yeah. It really is. Like, it's like, uh, that's why, that's why it's always, they do have a good brisket. They have a good brisket sandwich. <laughs> Somebody that's said, go good. get a gas mask. Yeah, for a, a gas better. station, it's really dead gum good. A lot better. Yeah. Like a lot better. Oh. Somebody said, go get a gas mask. Yeah. <laughs> you got like two sips. <laughs> I thought it was like the Chick fil A of gas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that. Like, yeah, I Simple. Like, to the point, fast, it's clean. Light, clean, yeah. and courteous, reasonable prices. <laughs> Somebody just, get, not that somebody just gave me a super chat to go buy a gas mask. Gas mask. <laughs> Maybe I just need to get you to fart and people donate. Yeah. <laughs> you started to finish that. God. <laughs> started to finish. 
We'll call it Scat Chat. <laughs> scat, scat Chat? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Somebody said uh, beaver nuggets or knockoff caramel popcorn. I mean, they they really it, it honestly tastes like a like a heavily sugared cereal. Yeah, I like that. And it gets pop. it gets stuck in your teeth too. Oh, I don't like that. Pops. Corn pops or corn pops. Yeah. Anyway, Yeah, it's. They used to have these like mini chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, you told me about those. That they would. Oh, speaking of speaking of cookies, so speaking of cookies, uh, Pillsbury makes these new soft baked little ones. They come in a bag. The uh, confetti oh. cookies are really really good. It's inside the confetti. Window. Huh? What did you inside. say? Okay. What's the big deal? Usually it's outside the Oh, it's touching my crack. <laughs> I touched your crack. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Oh. Beaver nuggets are oversized corn pops. They are. I said the same thing. The so uh, the original ones are awful. The ones in the clear bag, trash. The cinnamon ones I could deal with. Like I could have two of them, and then I felt like I was getting diabetes. It's just not, not me. No um. Somebody asked how you were doing, Chris. I'm here. Yeah. May, may have to make trip back loves. <laughs> We've just been bored eating all day. That's all I have done today, is eat. <laughs> Me too. I'm supposed to do, watch pizza? You saved me from heart disease. <laughs> what that? You saved me from heart yeah. disease. Give it an hour. <laughs> Dude, I had the two two meat combo at, at, uh, at, at lunch. I got the chopped brisket and I got uh, uh, chicken breast, smoked chicken breast. Oh, it's so good. With baked beans and French fries, which French fries were awful. Baked beans were incredible. It's cowboy were, beans. Well, I thought they were good. I didn't like them at all. Um, we got here, went there and got me a coat. About an hour and a half, two hours later, I was like, man, I am so bored. What can we do? I wake up Let's from go a eat. Nap. <laughs> I wake up from a nap and he's like, pull me over there. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> so, so I went in there and got that. Got the, got the, uh, the uh, nerd cluster things. I was doing good. I had like a little pizza, like a little a small <laughs> turkey sandwich. Your diet is screwed. What's that? Your diet is screwed from that I had pizza. A small turkey sandwich with a bottle of water from Jersey Mike. I was nice yeah. and tent. And I pull up next to you and I'm eating candy nerds and a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't even hungry. <laughs> it just happened. I don't know what happened. Are we, uh, do we have anything on radar yet? That storm is uh, taking off like a rocket southwest of us, though. That's gonna be some big old hail. This is the blue. This is the exact same thing that happened yesterday. Like it, it's it started in that area, it split off. One went to the northeast. That one, the the prolific one, the the hail producer, went all the way up into Dallas. Which is also the same thing that happened last time I was down there when we went to Colleen. Yep. Mm-hmm. Next day. Yeah. That's crazy. Did you chase George the next day? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? Do I speak Spanish? No, I don't speak Spanish. I was reading that and I thought it said fart. What? At the end. Oh, somebody put something in the uh, oh they're from Puerto Rico. Huh? YouTube. Check out my YouTube channel. I, I subscribe to your YouTube channel. Check out the last video of this. Did you put pictures of me on there? <laughs> oh, you can right click to translate it. Well, I'm on an iPhone. Are you just doing that so that way I'll go and bump, bump your algorithm numbers? <laughs> no. Brandon Clement. <laughs> Storm <laughs> Chaser. <laughs> WX Chase is something. I searched Brandon Clement, the first thing that came up was Brandon Coppock. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Hey, go. WX Chasing. WX Chasing. WX Chasing, got it. First thing that comes up, snow. No, check on videos, click on videos. 
videos. Last one. Tornado. Two. The last one? Like all the way? What was the last video I posted? Oh, the, I was going to scroll like your first video you ever posted. Uh, Iowa. When? Two months ago. Yeah. Probably the same thing. I think it's probably the same thing for me. Let's go see. That's not severe season. Hey, thanks, Jackie, for the PayPal donation. <laughs> Do what? I got a PayPal. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's see about mine. When was mine? <laughs> nope, I got one in Colorado and then I posted hail from Pratt. But that was a, that was a month ago. I mean, I was in Colorado, I got all those tornadoes. Yeah. Like, Jackie's so usually over on my stream. So explain this. So I got a weak little bird fart tornado in Colorado, 24,000 views. Hail in Pratt, Kansas, 42,000 views. An EF3 tornado right in front of us. Huge stove pipe, 2.6 thousand. Tornado on the ground. Where? Again, panhandle. Panhandle doing it again, tornado on the ground. Oh, no. Lots, Texas. I don't think we're getting a storm here, Brandon. I don't think we are either. Maybe a little bit of a something down southwest of Hillsboro. Yeah, it split off and, <laughs> yep. I'm gonna give it another 30 minutes, Brandon, and then I'm heading east. <laughs> and we'll get those storms as they're coming into yeah, Louisiana. An hour, an hour yeah. you think? Because if we leave an hour from now, or leave 30 minutes from now, we'll get there we'll at the same time. <laughs> 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 <sighs> yeah, that's true. It should be bagged and went like two, two downtown. Downtown. Yeah, it Supposedly, should be people leaving downtown. Speaking of that, Reed is stuck in traffic on the interstate. Yeah, Reed's stuck in traffic. Is what What's that? There must be a wreck or something because Reed's stuck in traffic. Dallas? I don't know. It's just in your comments. I'm sure you're reading them. Huh? Why is he here? I don't know. I, I talked to them last night. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings and they walked in after we had already ordered. Um, I was asking Jordan Hall kind of what they were doing tomorrow and he said they were probably going to head up to Panhandle. But then he posted a thing today saying he was down in DFW, so for Gorilla Hell. I may need it for a gas mask. <laughs> Are you reading all the comments? Yeah. Jackie said the donation was for a gas mask. I found my lenses. Good. Yeah, you said they were in your other car. They're in your other <laughs> I thought it was my drone bag, but I forgot to drone out of that. Uh oh. It's been this way. It's been overcast like this all day. I have been reading the comments. <laughs> it's almost like you're going to bound yourself. Okay, why is it just not sending me an email about that? I'm going to Alaska here in a couple weeks. Sure. Okay. When are you going? July? What's that? When are you going? Uh, sometime first of July. Are you staying on vacation? What's that? Are you staying on vacation? No, I got it. I bought a, a PTC camera with a uh, solar panel and jack motor to come up and hook it all up. Okay. Going to uh, this glacier, it's like the most frequently cavy glacier in the world. Okay. I've been there before, you had to go fly the Anchorage, fly to Cordova, rent a car in Cordova, drive like 24 miles down this washed out gravel road. <laughs> Meet a guy with a jet boat who takes you another 15 miles up the Copper River. And all of a sudden you get there. What could go wrong? Huh? What could go wrong? Well, there's tons of bears there, too. But <laughs> when we get there, he's got a cabin. It's like, what cabin is it on there? Well, Alaska Fish and Wildlife put up a freaking cell phone tower right there. Because they have to go out and do welfare checks out yeah. there occasionally and don't have yep. service. Yep. And um, I'm going to use that. I'm going to put a TV camera on that glacier. It's constantly cracking on 300 feet. Oh, chunks of ice in the river. Yeah. That'd be cool. So I'm just doing set up, put a laundry on the table. That's pretty cool. Go up there for four days for a... That's pretty cool. I bet you'll get something from that. What's that? I bet you'll get something from that. Oh, yeah. Somebody asked who was, uh, who's chasing next to us. And can I say that it's Brandon Clement? No. <laughs> it is not. Sorry, Brandon I Clement. can't say, say who's chasing next to me. No, <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, is that a joke? <laughs> somebody, said, somebody said Reed is on his way to Carrollton, Texas. I don't know where that. Where's Carrollton, Texas at? Carrollton. Carrollton. Dallas. Okay. Oh. Dallas. Somebody asked what what we think about the setup in uh, Alabama and Georgia tomorrow. Maybe some tornadoes. Well, we're driving all night if that says anything. Wait, what month is it? <laughs> I bet there will be some tornadoes tomorrow. I bet there will be. It'll be a needle in the haystack kind of day. I'll put two dollars on it. I know, it's such a big area. I bet you, bet you there's zero. I bet you fifty like, bucks. I bet you fifty bucks. There's three tornadoes tomorrow. All right, I'll take sure. I'll take under three fifty. Okay, that's it. So, four more of you. <laughs> Yep. Very less than me. Yep. I'll, I'll take, take that. that okay. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, there's outflow boundaries galore over there, so I'm expecting a few to latch on at one point and put down like a weak tornado in the last five minutes, knock down a tree in Jackson. Yeah. yeah. But it can't be the same day. Jackson has to go out there and, and like check it to make sure. What's that? I want Jack. I want NWS Jackson to go out there for every tree that's down. They're going to go out. They're going to go look for it. And that's when the tornado numbers get going up. Yeah. You good with that? Yeah, I've actually had to, I've actually had to go out and get to the survey. <laughs> okay. But no, they actually. But the they're is, really good. Yeah. It, they, I mean, it, it, it's it just shows you how many more tornadoes they get than anywhere else. Right. I mean, I was like, I was using the drone to find some tornado damage. It's like a knocked over deer stand, a couple trees in a row knocked down. But yeah. It was obvious. Tornado. Yeah. It well, like, I mean, it's it also. I, mean, I, I wanted to prove it. It also makes you think, like, how many more tornadoes do we have, like, nationwide that don't get reported because there's not trees everywhere? Dude, I'm telling you, that tornado I got over mm. in Texas, Hallsville. Paul, yeah. Where, like, came down, it went, only went across, like, this small little pond. Yeah. Like a goldfish pond. Yep. And it lived. Well, that Taylor Landing video that I got when I when I got it, um, it was an EF unknown or EF zero or something because it knocked down a Bradford pear tree. That was it. No, I went to the other day, I was like, there's nothing. Nothing. Yeah, it, would, it would not have gotten documented if I wouldn't have seen it. Yeah, the blip. That tornado, it was like, I mean, it was... It's a yellow blip. Now you have a blip. Where? South of Clifton. Hold on a second. Little, uh, like, tiny, tiny little thing. Yeah, it's like a little blip. Clifton? Northwest of Waco. It's like the smallest thing ever. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What were you saying? Sorry, but the Hallsville tornado was scared of that light pole. Yeah. That light pole right there. But it makes you think how many more tornadoes there actually are that don't get reported. It was reported. so weak, the only spot it would spin up was right across the water right there. Yeah. As soon as it hit like the small little tree, it was too much more. <laughs> Just couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> like, so so it's, it's right weaker there, than a dust devil. Rope for the tornado, you see the whole vortex in the ground right in front of me. Yeah. And I pan down, and it's like, done. <laughs> <laughs> that is the definition of a bird park. That really is. Where you could walk out into it. But if it was in like, if it was in Amarillo, it would have been a freaking wedge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we're waiting till 645. If there's nothing going on at 645, we're going to go east. And at least get on those storms as they go into Louisiana. They shoot lightning in the trees. Yeah. You're the nicest person ever. Huh? You're nice. Nice Chris, stop getting on my phone. Uh, He's over here texting himself from my phone. <laughs> do you need friends? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, is that a microphone? Is it a mic? Yeah. Like a boom mic? Yeah. Why do you need that for your still camera? Why do you need it for your still camera? It's a backup. Oh, okay. I thought I thought I was grabbing. I bought a little shotgun to come right down here from live stream and I can start using the audio. Okay. This, this can't. This mic can't. This mic on the camera is terrible. It's sitting right next to the windshield when it rains. Mm-hmm. It's not awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm on the mic. I'm on the back up over here. Yeah, mine does the same thing when it rains. You can't hear anything. I can, you can use your computer audio, but it sounds like crap. Are we 
you doing a whole stream yesterday? No. No. Like not even a little bit. I normally average about 45,000 views on every stream. I had eight but yesterday just because it kept going in and out. Eight thousand. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Um, but uh, and then I don't know how what I'll get today. How are, you, how are you holding it? How is I? How am I holding what? How are you doing straight? Is it going straight to YouTube? Yeah, straight to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I, there's there's a way to do it. I think the way that Copic was doing it, he was he was streaming it. He was no. So he would take his LSM feed and then he would use his home computer and, and use OBS at his home computer and like take a screenshot of his LSM feed and then broadcast it to YouTube from his, so he had, no, this this is just strictly from this. So every time you go out, you have to restart it? Mm -mm. Nope. You that. Works for me. Sweet. Another tornado warning in Texas. Panhandle. Yeah, no, okay. Stars and bars. Satellite feed picture when you're out. Do what? Do what? Oh no no no! Yeah, start. No, it's just, I think it's I think it just freezes the actual image. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. I've had an issue in the past with it showing like a green screen after a while, but that's that's done. Now the new thing is it sounds like I'm a chipmunk or a squirrel when I'm talking. It's like a high pitched after after a little bit. So I'm still trying to work out all the kinks. Oh, got it accurate. Yeah yeah. Like Brad before he went through puberty. Oh my God! There's a tornado. Every time I see you stream, I know your audio. I'm gonna play like music. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude, I did that for her. Oh, I got so pissed off uh, for Hurricane Ian. We were on our way back and stopped at a gas station, and I wouldn't even think. About it. I was already done streaming. I, I don't know why I didn't just cut it off. We, we were literally like leaving Punta, uh, Punta Gorda, and we we stopped at like one of the only gas stations that had gas. And they were blaring like Morgan Wallen. <laughs> I didn't think about it. So I'm just, I just left my door open all of a sudden, you know, last night we let the liquor taste. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and then they were like, yeah, we're gonna stop your stream. We're gonna, we're not gonna monetize the rest. I was like, what, come on, for a gas station audio? And then there was one time that I had, I used to have like it was like "Don't Stop Believing" on like the album of football fight song on my, as my ringtone for my phone. So somebody would call me and they said that yeah, Apple Music or something like that filed a claim against. Dang it! <laughs> like things like that you don't think about. Yeah, I sit there and take down all day for video. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, they think it's okay to just take video, but they're like, I didn't. There's nothing wrong with my post. I didn't use any music. So they know it's not okay to take music. My right? fa my favorite one was somebody took my took my video of a tornado that I got and then up and then uploaded Thunderstruck in the background of it. So they were copyrighted with the music and my video. <laughs> Six forty five, right, Brandon? There is no Do what? It's not happening. I'll be thunderstruck. I said that uh, on my on my stream that uh, when I did that like high pitched voice of like pre puberty Brad, <laughs> that's tough to say. But uh, they said that I sounded like Reed. <laughs> Back up! Back up! <laughs> Can't even do it without laughing. That transformer's gonna blow at some point. Look at that thing rust like crazy up there. So we managed all the reads videos. He's got one where flash flood in Arizona where like huge free flood was coming down. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that's the part that everybody stole. And like when I say everybody stole, it's stolen like 20,000 times. Jeez. So every time I click on it, the screen shot, I have to Whoa! Go, whoa! whoa. <laughs> that or, or Blake Brown. The, the, the semi? Yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I was like, I never want to say that. Either of those say that. So anytime that I get something great, I'm just going to say something really sexual. Oh. Just so that way, every time that somebody steals it, you have to hear it every day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's tearing my shit up, man. <laughs> Your most stolen video is that one in Texas. Is it? That little mini suit. Yeah. Final yeah. Violent. Violent. And you were, you were yelling. Who was driving today? Zach Hall. Or no, Zach Walters. You were yelling to that. Huh? You are like, Stop! Go so fast! Stop! Stop! Go! go. Left, look at left, left. <laughs> go faster! Go faster! And yeah. I'm like, oh god, this is getting more than driving right now. <laughs> go faster! Slow down, I want to enjoy it! Get better video! <laughs> Zoom in! Yeah, I thought I'd cut the audio. <laughs> Fast, yet slow. <laughs> oh, man. Well, this hasn't happened to me in a long time where it's just been an absolute blue sky bus where I haven't seen anything. Well, it's not blue sky. Oh, it yesterday. I thought it was too. Thankfully, it didn't. Until that, whenever it was retrograde, it yeah. finally stopped, and I was feeling myself pretty good. Yeah. That's why I took off. Well, there was there was the initial supercell that got going, died off. The other supercell got going, died off, and then at that point, the third uh, one I got was going. Right there, on one. one. It's like Where are you? Just there. bouncing. I left early. I left like soon as I pulled in the parking lot. Two people. Were you a Bollinger? I tell you, just 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 the east, just the west of or just east of Bollinger. Okay. That's right where it was. About time to turn on the Atlanta Braves baseball. Tower. Tower. Do what? Oh yeah. I knew I knew in the last one. I still do not know what we ran over yesterday. Like what we ran through to cover the windshield in that white stuff. Bugs. It looked like it looked like we ran through snowflakes and they just like oh. softly disintegrated on the windshield. Daniel oh. Shaw. Possible wedge tornado embedded in rain near Lots, Texas. Daniel Saul said he has a wedge tornado embedded in rain. Let's see a picture. Go take a go take a look at no. Twitter. <laughs> Let's go look. No. I would I would expect better no. from Daniel Shaw. No. 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 no, I would expect better from Daniel Shaw. No, 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 no. <laughs> When you do, well, you see what you do is you take a picture, you take a picture, and then you turn the contrast way up there, so that way it looks so that so that way when you're zoomed in on the heaviest part of the rain and the hail where the, in the core, it looks like there's a wedge right there. Is that thunder? No, that was a car. Oh, I got excited. We also get a lot of reports that aren't real tornadoes. Do what? Affect tornadoes. What? We also got a lot of reports that aren't actually tornadoes. That is very true. That's very true. I wish that I wish that like at the end of the day with the tallies, I wish it would be just actual tornadoes instead of tornado reports. Because a a, storm, a tornado in Kansas where every single chaser is on may have a hundred reports. That doesn't mean there were a hundred tornadoes that day. But we're going by reports tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you know, because nobody's going to Dixie. Okay. Nobody's going to Dixie to chase. Because they all know that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> SBC. SBC thinks something's going to happen. They put a 5% crazy 6 value on a 250 mile stretch of the boundary. Yeah. Right, something could happen. <laughs> so, something could happen. Some idiot's going to report something in the trees. Right here. Like, eh, eh. I'm gonna get that 50 bucks, Brandon. <laughs> Possible tornado. <laughs> Three and a half miles away in Natchez. About six miles south of 50 bucks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
just on the last report, be like, Brandon, you'll be 50 bucks. <laughs> you gotta do that now. Oh, oh, I'll probably, I'll, I, I can't. I, I, I've got to have. I've got to have a spotter network for my, my location. But I would do it in a heartbeat. You're gonna make a fake spotter. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I will be watching out for for twenty reports. Ship that. <laughs> Just put tornado sniffer on there. <laughs> Nick Saban's gonna have like seven. Nick Saban. <laughs> Oh man, I'm crying over here. That's funny. We just need one name, Joe Gump. Joe Gump. <laughs> Gump reports tornado. <laughs> I'll just be boat. I'll just be. Uh, <laughs> I'll just be Bofa. No, B O F A. You got a fake report of tornado in Greensboro with the name Gump. <laughs> or is it Greenbow? What is it? Great. Gr Greenbow, Alabama. Greenbow. Man, those th those storms are splitting every way now. You know why? Because the SBC said it'd be less splitting supercells. Like yeah. Um, it's like. It's like <laughs> I'm just gonna have my name be Bofa. Changing that now for you. What? Oh no! You gotta do a gump. You gotta do a gump. Gump in Greenville. And then you gotta go down to uh, uh, Bayou. Bayou, Bayou La Battery. Battery. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Bubba. Yeah. Bubba. Yeah. Bubba's gonna have to Bull shrimp. Cajun shrimp. So shrimp. Shrimp at two feet. Uh, <laughs> shrimp boat overturned. Shrimp net torn. Shrimp. Shrimp box blown over. Shrimp markers didn't show up. <laughs> Shrimp All boat named damage. Shrimp boat named Bubba Gump. <laughs> I'll do that during a hurricane. <laughs> that would have been a great one that I could have done when I got that one that was in Punta Gorda with that boat that was like coming on shore. <laughs> yeah. In the third report, Jeff Cross got you covered. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Probably chasing tonight, too. What's that? Probably chasing all night tonight. Probably. As we're going east, but still. I slept good. Yeah, me too. I was tired. Yeah, I me was too. I like struggling to get the hotel tired. Yep. Bubba Gump. Your name in my phone is now Bofa Arnold. Hmm. <gasps> Oh God! Just let me know beforehand. And I sent you a super chat. Me? Yeah. Really? She likes you better than she does me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she did. Thank you for that super chat, Hannah. Appreciate that. All right, are we going to have anything fire up, Brandon? 35 minutes to tell. Take another nap. What does satellite look like? It's Nothing. Socked in so much you can't tell. Yep. But it's all, it's like all high level vinyl. Are we even, are we even gonna be able to catch those in East East, East Texas anymore? Probably not. A bit. 
Right Those are splitting like crazy as well. Good thing is I haven't had to waste money on gas today. Did you have a problem with service yesterday as well? Yeah, Starlink sucks. But I got, like, when I was sitting in one spot in the last storm. Yeah, that, I was good there. I was in the clear in the hook. I was, I was good there. I was good there. Yeah. ATT or Verizon? ATT. So Verizon was nothing. Okay. ATT, I keep this from my phone from radar. So yeah. I use everything else. My issue was, I guess we were in an area where it would switch from 5G to LTE all the time. And when it would do that, it would just like knock me off for some reason. Not to mention everybody and their brother was down there. So. Yeah, everybody was down there and everybody with a YouTube now screams. So, probably wasted all the data. John is with me. I have a. That's what I've got. That's what I've got. The uh, net gear. So I have USB. I'll have uh, Starlink, yeah. USB, ATT, ATT, Starlink, and then I'll have Verizon and the modem. It's already in there with Ethernet. Do you think there's such thing as running too many things and it could hurt it that way? What's that? Like running too many different, too many different cellular things to one thing. Are you using Speedify or anything? Yeah, honestly, the best result I get is I use one thing to really on the market. Yeah. I, I tried that speed of, is it speedify yeah it, i hated it Terrible. yeah i hated it i tried to like tether to when i had verizon and at and i hated it oh uh, and I, I got into but i like to have three different ways to switch over yeah so i'll, I'll put a single source on and switch whatever do you not have a live view what's that do you have a live view i hate live view do you? Dude, i hate anything with the same body yeah it's just a chance yeah live view Depends on uh, priority. Oh, okay. So, you have somebody show it's so expensive, too. Well, that's what it is. It's, 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 it's Bleeding. Make you like, prioritize different levels. Yeah. It's hard to outrage the amount of money for the card. For, yeah. Which now is just as important as what it used to be. Makes sense. So, like, right shows the money grab. It's more live view. It shuts half power now. Yeah. What'd you say? What are you doing? I don't know. I pulled the thing up and it's sticky. God. But also have two laptops. Me too. <laughs> Do what? So I've got two laptops on. Okay. So I can run all the screens off of all the networks. Gotcha. Is that all your, your screen is, is the laptop? Yeah, it's just it's a touch screen. It just ran my laptops in the back. So your laptop's in the back. Why not just put a desktop back there and run faster? What's that? Why not put a desktop back there? Like just I had a desktop in my old one. It's just too much of a Because you, you had to keep the car on all the time. and. No, not really that. It was just it's big, cumbersome, that's not made to be in the car. Yeah, that's true. Bouncing around like crazy. Yeah, so it's constantly going through different parts, motherboard, and shit. Yep. Uh, that makes sense. The laptops have gotten so fast now. Yeah, they're a lot better now. I just want to see something on Echo. What the heck's going on here? Truck stop. I just want to see some sort of like Echo Top or something that shows me that there's a chance that there's even a storm. Thirty minutes. Really? At what time? Midnight? Four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Good to know. We got some pretty big hail last night at our hotel in North in uh, Fort Worth. Apparently, they're like hundreds of millions of dollars damage. Yeah, we had some, we had some hail uh, golf balls hit it near the hotel.
the only time that I ever saw Kid Rock, I was at a uh, Hank Williams Jr. concert at Rock the South in Coleman, Alabama. And Kid Rock was supposed to make a guest appearance, but he couldn't come out because he was too drunk. My dad's on the park board and he saw him. He said he couldn't walk. Where's Talbotville? Huh? People at the concert said only God does walk. <laughs> well done. Where's well done. Talbotville? I don't know why. Uh, Florida maybe? What no. about Talbotville? What are you talking about? The, wherever Talbotville is, that's, that's Talbotville. As of 20 minutes ago. You know where ago. Talbotville is? Talbotville? Yeah. Sounds like a Florida city. What? It sounds like a Florida city. I bet it's I bet it's near the Gulf Coast. They had a they had a big tornado or a tornado. Oh, I bet you it's What's Canada. That? It's a they had a tornado down there. Ontario. Ontario? Mm -hmm. Today? Mm -hmm. Talbotville. Talbotville. I heard of it. I think it's Canada. How do you know they had a tornado? Picture. It just says it's That's a funnel. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a funnel. Wherever Talbotville is. Was it the one in the panhandle? I don't think so. Canada? Ontario? Is it really Canada? <laughs> Canada? We're in the wrong freaking country. <laughs> when it is when it's June when in June go to Canada. Huh? And now we're going to go chase in Alabama tomorrow. Maybe even Georgia if we're lucky. Get some Georgia peaches to take back home. I have big news. Only slightly smaller news than us having a baby girl, but the other big news, Godfather's Pizza stays open 24 hours a day now. Every loves. That way you can have three meat pizza. All you want. You can get a three meat treat along with the nerds and a Coke. Oh, that felt great. Are you farting again? Yeah, and I cracked my back. Oh. <laughs> if I sit there too long and we're not moving, I'm going to get tired. Yeah. I'm already tired. Tired of Texas. Why am I in Texas in June? Why are we not in the Dakotas right now? It's June. Huh? It's Dowdle. Dowdle. Yeah, yep, I was really good. Yeah, Nebraska. Birmingham and Marshall, and Iowa. Yeah. Mind blowing. <laughs> nice, that truck's unit is 69. God, you're a child. <laughs> <laughs> I've just paid attention to the small. 25 person. minutes, Brandon. 25 minutes. No blips, not sh not shit. The thing is, they have a severe thunderstorm watch for this area for another for three hours. High hail chances. What's that? They have a severe thunderstorm watch for this area for high hail chances. Six, ten, so nine. 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 I think it's nine a nine nine p.m. Two tornado warnings in Texas now. Oh, same one, never mind. What's that? Two tornado warnings in Texas, but the same one up on the panhandle. One on the inside of the state? Mm hmm. Where's the other one? They're both up on the panhandle. Just one hadn't expired yet. For what? An MD's out for this watch.
Yeah, it's supposed to be uh, earlier than that. Yeah, it's Interesting. In the absence of meaningful up large scale ascent, weak low level uh, warm advection atop this air mass appears the primary appears to be the primary mechanism for new updraft development. Pretty much, they they just they just wrote an essay, and they could have really just put what? It's a bust. Go home. That's how? Sorry, Canadian smoke. That's how? Canadian smoke. No, it's not a tower. <laughs> it's a tower. Echo top's not picking up on it. It does look darker over there, though. Not picking it up. We we're right in the middle of the two two areas of storms. I haven't even turned my GR on. You haven't? Early Just looking at your phone? Early Just looking at radar? Omega or radar, radar scope? I haven't felt like there's actually going to be anything that happened. Yeah. I don't use it a lot of places. I do. Yeah. It's not like I'm searching for the method. That is true. I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You can pretty much tell what it is. Is that your car? What's it doing? Turn it off and on. Oh. Turn it on every few minutes, charge the lithium battery a little. Those take time. It does look darker over there, though. Let me stream it. You get outside, it's bright back here. It's dark over there. Turn the contrast way up. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's there's a there's a chance that we could be seeing that all the way from that storm that's all the way down south. What? Turn the contrast. Yeah, turn the contrast. Up. <laughs> we're looking south, so that yeah, would be south and southwest. Ugh. So how many snakes did you see yesterday? Snakes? Yeah. None. I was surprised. I was every time I got out of the car, I was looking for a rattlesnake. It's like ninety. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. Like crossing the road? Like crossing the road, the gravel fields, or like all on the edge of the road. Really? No, I didn't see any. I didn't see. I saw four snakes yesterday. I've seen the whole year. I've seen a few when I've been chasing, but not. I didn't see any yesterday. Why not? Dang! Big gecko top over there near uh, Quitman. Equipment. Where's that? Manolia. Men, men, men. South, north, east, west. East. How far? Uh, I mean, it's east of just east of Terrell. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixty-one thousand foot top on it. You ready to go after? <laughs> you just tell me when, big boy. Because I think our optimism here is running out. We got 20 minutes. There's got to be a cap because even those storms that are down to the southwest now are dying off. I'm good pushing east if you are. Yeah. Alright, we'll just follow you. I'll follow you. You got a navigator. That's fine. No way. Yeah, you can just follow me. Alright, let's go. See ya. Man, what a day. What a day. Hey, what is that north of Brady? <laughs> a dying storm. <laughs> I still 
All right, everybody, we're gonna blast east towards Dallas. Absolutely blasting to go get some rain. Just kidding, we're gonna go get in some hail. There's some pretty robust cells that are east of Dallas. I just thought that the better chance of isolated was back this way. Why is it so dark here? East is right. We're not wanting to go west, right? Correct. Hopefully. Oh yeah, because I'm no, in There's no need to drive fast. Just let him be behind. Is he behind us? Yeah. Just drive like five miles an hour over. There's no reason to bust it. Oh, I guess we changed the camera room. Pizza. I eat a corn dog. That's true. That's probably what I'm gonna eat tonight. 
Well, I don't know. It, it went straight through me. I don't Did it? recommend it. Okay. People that watch the stream know I'm after love corn dogs. Yeah, I'm, I'm rolling on the high train right now. It may not make it much farther. Okay.
Chase, was it Roland Fork? Uh, maybe. Hold on, let's break for this person that's in the far on the far right shoulder. <laughs> Quick question for you guys. What's the best gas station pizza? Go. I don't think I need a pole for that one. I think that one's probably fine as it is. We're just having a little chat before uh, we go to get to the storms. So we say Casey's, Casey's, a lot of K QT. Casey's is mid. Casey's, Casey's is okay. It's mid. QT, Casey's, Hunt Brothers. Where I'm from, it, dep it depends. It depends, Hunt Brothers is hit or miss. If Hunt Brothers is fresh, it's very good. If it's not fresh, it tastes like cardboard.
what is I've seen people say Greg's. What is Greg's? Is it, oh, that's Carly. That's the, that's my uh, moderator. That's over in uh, the UK. Is, is Greg's? Is I, I don't know what Greg's is. Is that like what is Greg's? QT QT. Hunt Brothers. A lot of Hunt Brothers. Where I'm from, that's not all you one, have. not one Godfather's Pizza, not a single one. Can, can Love's not get any love in the house? Not everybody Somebody stops, said Domino's. Not everybody stops at uh, truck stops when they're on the roads. <laughs> the best thing to do. So we're actually taking, me and my wife are taking a trip since we're having our baby. It's called a baby moon. Like the last trip before you maybe or whatever. So we're going up to Cape Cod. Uh, and while we're up there, I'm gonna catch a Red Sox baseball game. And then also, I've so I've heard that New Haven, Connecticut is the pizza capital of the world or of, of the United States. So we're gonna go try it. There's a place up there that I want to try. It's called Sally's a a pizza. A pizza. A P I Z Z A. A pizza. So there's Love's Truck Stops, and they have Godfather's Pizza. They have like little personal pan pizzas that are really good. You know, like like full size pizzas in there, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can. But the, the little little small ones are the best.
Hey, Come and Go has has pizza. I forgot about that one. I had a breakfast pizza in there one time. Pretty good. Oh, that breakfast pizza. They didn't have eggs on it. Oh, it had uh, bacon, sausage, cheese, and ham. Whoever looks at the hell stuff is 
That would be the National Weather Service. No, there it's like a team of people. It's not the National Weather Service. It's all on the Twitter. Is it the shit team? No. <laughs> Severe hell intercept team. No, I can't remember what it was, but uh, they were commenting on like, "Do you have this frozen? We would love to come look at this. Hmm. Maybe a record breaker." They're like, yes, we had it in the freezer. It melted for like 10 minutes before we got it in the freezer, though. Hmm. Are you going to get over or are you just going to... It really opens up once you get through all this crap. Cool. Are they just wanting to get over or are they just riding with their blanker on? <laughs> they just riding with their blanker on. Yeah, they have every chance in the world to get over. Mm -hmm. so there you go. <laughs> Somebody commented and said, does anyone even like Burger King anymore? <laughs> I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. Well, it depends. Depends on if it's fresh or not. Their chicken fingers are like really good fresh. Okay. But if it's cold, I wouldn't touch it for a million dollars. That's how a lot of fast food is, though. I love how it opens up and now the right lane's closed in half a mile. Mm. I mean, that was a speed wrong. limit thing here. 55. 55, yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong, you got you can get 20 nuggets for like 5 bucks at Burger King, so it's probably like raccoon angles, but... <laughs> Somebody likes Burger King. Chicken fries. Alright. Have you never had chicken fries? Ooh, Loves just took a big Loves is coming close. Casey's is number one. Loves has overtaken Hunt Brothers. Come on guys, let's vote. Partial though. Vote for what you want to. like a hawk. Fifty-nine. Oh, that was another vote for loves. Sixty. Whoever the sixtieth voter is is a jerk. He just voted for Casey's. Vote for Hot Brothers. Let's point and laugh at the sixtieth voter. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. We don't we don't believe in bullying here. This is a non-bullying zone. I was bull bully Chris all the time. I, I was about to say. <laughs> What's going on behind More the votes for Casey's. Come on, guys. Y'all are really... Vote really for Hump Brothers. Here. Hump Brothers is the best The vote for people. loves is a vote for freedom. The vote for Hump Brothers is a vote for the drunk at this pizza at 3 a.m. Good one, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Casey's. All right, we're about to we're about to close this poll. Y'all are going the wrong way. There we go. There's another vote for loves. 68 now. All right, I'll shut the poll down when we get to 75. We're at 68 right now. Up there are 198 of you watching. I know that you can hear me. Go vote for loves. Hunt Brothers. Remember who's driving. Vote for Hunt Brothers. I can drive my own car. <laughs> Casey's is a close one. Uh, I think Casey's has got it. 35 to 30. Loves did finish strong, though. Oh. The 70th voter just took their vote away. Oh, oh they took it away and put it for Loves. Oh, gosh. The adversity. Oh my goodness. The drama is building, everybody. Alright, five more votes. Get to 75. Uh, bros. Uh, bros. Listen, if it tells you anything, 
Punk Brothers don't even have a commercial on TV. That's how good they are. Neither does Godfathers. Yes, they do. No, they don't. You walk in the store, they have Godfathers advertisements. Punk Brothers. That's not. That's on the gas station TV. I'm talking about like on cable. They don't. Oh, another vote for Loves. Thirty-two to. Th or, oh my! Oh, it's thirty-two to thirty-two. Oh my God! I can't even handle it. The seventy-fifth voter is going to break the tie. Thirty-two to thirty-two. Oh, Loves won it. Thirty-three to thirty-two. We're closing that shit. We're closing it now. <laughs> In poll. We're done. No, somebody voted for Casey's right at the last minute. It's a tie. It was a tie. Golly. Can I open that back up? <laughs> Dang it. Golly. Open it back up, but this time you all vote for Hump Brothers. You can't get a better finish than that in, in, in the NBA Finals. God. The adrenaline. We're gonna need a recount on that. I think the I think the voting machines were uh, fraudulent. <laughs> Your neighbor says Casey's best travel. All right, uh, hold on. So let's let's think. What poll should we let's let's leave it up to people watching. Best travel snack. Rice Krispie treats. All day. It's easy. Not messy. I would probably. It's go. filling yet yeah, not not. Too, or like, are you wanting like something nutritious? Or are you wanting something like almonds? Or are you no, wanting like a, like a junk food? Greenhorns. Greenhorns. The hell are greenhorns? <laughs> what is that? What's a creamhorn? Does anybody in the chat know what a cream horn is? What's, what's a cream horn? <laughs> it's like a, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like filled with um, good shit. <laughs> okay. So Frosty. it's food. There it is. Yeah. So it's like a Twinkie. No. It's good though. Okay. Take your word for it. Somebody commented and said you've never had a cream horn while. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> They're really good. Is it like something perverted? No. Okay. No, not at all. Like it's a legit thing. Cylinder pastry filled with white cream. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Alright, so they're really good though. We're gonna leave it up to the people watching the stream. What's what what is the next poll that we should do? What do you think? I think Chris wants to know the best gas station food. No. No, you don't best want to Best travel snack. Best, best snack travel while snack. traveling. But that could be anything. Not really. Are we talking about sweets? Are we talking about peanuts? Pe anything. Like crackers? See, but it's a poll, so I have to put answers in there and I don't want to have to put the whole menu at loves. <laughs> what is a racing a summit racing at the Oh, that is somewhere I'd love to go. It's a big place. Yeah, it's uh, like. Four right, so we got a fast food restaurant. Fast food restaurant. Winner goes to. Where not, I it's clearly not going to be Burger King. No, it's Waffle. That's not fast food. That's sit down. <laughs> Best food in general. See, the, I, I, I can put that, but I, I've got to put choices for people, and I don't want to. I, I mean, Abachi. that's sit down. <laughs> um, it's it fast food, Chris. It is fast food. Learn the assignment. It is fast food when you eat it fast. Best gas uh, station. Well, we've already eaten. I would say Dairy Queen, but you have to take a female long route to get in. What are you talking about? Dairy Queen. Is it expensive? Yeah. Oh. Their blizzards are good. They're expensive as hell, though. Fast food burger. That's a good one. I'm interested in what people say on that one. Give me to say on create the poll. I'm 
which of those people will say for this? food chain. Let's put that on there. And my only option is going to be in and out that you can choose from. That yeah, that is overrated too. So many people have had, not had water burger. Oh, Culver's. I can only put, I can only put four on there. Are we about to go into rain? I don't know. Or is it still just that foggy? Yeah, it's just foggy. Something absolutely stinks. Yeah, I thought that was you. No, it was I told you if I did. Okay. Uh, Whataburger with a companion lead right now. Whataburger and McDonald's. Good Jack in the Box, they have a good burger too. Uh, place most likely to give you exactly what you, what you ordered. Now Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Every time. Wendy's does have some good fries. Best fries. Definitely. Uh, honestly, if they're fresh, Wendy's has a runner-up right now with their new fries they have. Yeah, Wendy's are good. If they're fresh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Whataburger has pretty good fries, too. They're pretty good, yeah. Uh, uh, we're sitting here talking about food. You're going to make me hungry on the back end. We just ate. I know. When we weren't hungry. Okay. I mean, I'll eat. Okay. <laughs> Man, Whataburger with the commanding lead. Commanding. People did vote for Burger King. I'm surprised. Really? Burger King has just about as many as McDonald's. Really? That's surprising. That shows how many people's had a quarter pounder. Oh, Raising Cane's, yeah. Oh. No, they don't oh, they're have mainly a chi they're chicken. They're chicken. Yeah, they don't have a burger. What about uh, cookout? Cookout, cookout? Yeah. Cookout's pretty good. I don't know. There's always just. It's always just. I don't know. You can taste the charcoal. Yeah. Ugh. Then they always give you like four chicken nuggets for a side. The uh, the patty melt from Whataburger is incredible. You ever had that? Mm -hmm. Sonic has a good burger. Yeah, Sonic has a real good burger. I'm just think of places that have burgers that are good. You know what I don't like? It's probably gonna it's probably not gonna go well with people watching. Five guys. Awful. Never had it. Awful. Five guys. Awful. Their meat is not seasoned at all. It has it's it's like they literally just took the ground chuck and threw it on the grill. Not even salt and pepper. And then their fries don't even get started on that. They're soggy. There's no salt. It's pretty much trash in a brown bag. Like, not good. Is Brandon passing us? Yeah, he's gonna try to. I don't think he's going to make it <laughs> Zombie Burger in Des Moines. I've never heard of that place. Is that still a rivalry between them? Because it's 
Probably not. I mean, I almost got that one by now. Burger King's in uh, like bankruptcy. Are they really? Last I saw them. I can't. I can't eat Burger King on the road. Courtney, Courtney said she craved Burger King when she was pregnant. <laughs> So there will be active storm chasing. It's just a little bit, so we're passing the time right now uh, just to kind of talk with everybody. But um, all donations and contributions go directly to expenses, uh, food, uh, a lot of gas station food, coffee, Red Bulls, stay awake. Um, yeah, uh, gas, Definitely hotels. Five hour yeah, five hour energies for Chris. How much, how much is a $5 energy? Five hour energy? Five hour energy. It's like four bucks. All right, if some, buy a pack of three for 10 at Lunch and Pilot. If somebody will send a super, super chat for $5, I will buy Chris a five hour energy since he's driving us all the way to Georgia tonight. <laughs> Chris, a lot of five-hour energies tonight, because we're going to need multiple. We're driving all the way to southern Georgia tonight, so everybody, it's going to be a really long stream. 
We may just stream it the whole time. There's a chance that we could have tornadoes all the way there. There's a chance. If that does happen, I will need five hour energies. If you promise to stream, keep the stream going, somebody gave me five bucks. Yeah, we're, we're going to keep it rolling for a long time tonight. Um, somebody gave five dollars and said chug, chug, chug. <laughs> Listen, if let's there's... Just, hold on, let's, let's see how many five hour energy, energy shots we can get Chris until his mind explodes. How many, how many are you allowed to take in one sitting? You're only allowed to take two in 24 hours. <laughs> I'm already having a heart attack. Oh right. my gosh. I can feel his heart palpitations from here. I don't know that we'll pull a full all-nighter, but we're gonna we're gonna keep it going well into the overnight hours past midnight. This uh, this sounds like it's gonna be a fun stream. We do have a raindrop on the on the windshield. Oh no! Let's first first raindrop of the day. Okay, I think we're good. Yep. Somebody said they drink two two shots at a time. Jesus Christ! How are you? Somebody dead? said let's let's set a world record. Yeah. <laughs> a world record. Chris's body's so dead. God. So you know, uh, funerals aren't cheap. Uh, if you want to send a donation for that, uh, that's going to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. <laughs> I took three five hours just before my uh, because of my because of my loads. What? How are you not dead? Yeah, we'll do some more polls here in just a little bit. Uh, somebody asked, how do you get started storm chasing? Uh, just learn how to learn how to forecast. Uh, read some books about it. Know uh, your stuff. Know your stuff before you get out. Know how to drive. Have a, have a good way to get, you know, a radar app, things like that, and then drive. Just make sure you know what you're doing. If not, you can get, get yourself in trouble. Chloe said, I'm certified in CPR if y'all go down. Chloe, we're going to be coming through uh, Monroe tonight. Okay. Uh, these storms have completely took a dump. And they're already in Louisiana. Hey. What's up? Not a clue. I haven't even looked. How much is it? How far away is Rustin from Lake Montgomery? Because I would probably want to... How far away are we from Rustin? Probably 12 hours. Okay. Is that where you're staying for sure? Okay. It's in between. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me, um, I'll, I'll look at models here in just a little bit. We got a little bit of time. Uh, let me look at models and then, then, then kind of see what, where, because I may only need to be in Mississippi tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't looked at really much of anything for tomorrow. What did it look like? how well it did today so okay the OZ the OZ is going to run here in the next hour so I'll, I'll let's let's look at that and then I'll decide kind of where we where, where at least me and Chris are going to stay yeah that's that's really cheap so yeah appreciate that all right see you bye Dude, are you ripping ass over no, here? No, it stinks. So. That is disgusting. Yeah, it smells I'm, like straight sewage. I would tell you if I did. Awful smell. Right up. Like, if that was me, I would have claimed that. That is rough. Somebody said, do not stay in prison. Well, I have stayed in the worst places, I'm sure. Again, Paul, 
Thank you for that super chat. Appreciate it, man. Paul, are you the person that I've met today? I met, I met somebody today. While we were sitting outside the Love's gas station for four and a half hours.
life right now. I'm a married man, Chloe. Just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I am a married man. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me look at my phone. is completely shut down. In Terrell, the interstate is completely shut down. Wow. Why? Five miles past Terrell, it's completely closed. I think we're like 10 minutes out of Terrell. It's only a seven minute wait. How long have you been sitting there? He's been sitting there almost 45 minutes. There's a big wreck in Terrell, Texas, uh, and uh, one of the storm chasers just called us and said they've been waiting there for 45 minutes and haven't moved. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go around it. All right, bye.
best college to go to for meteorology. Um, I know Mississippi State has a really good school. Do what? OKU. Okay. OKU. That's OU. Yeah, OU. Uh, Oklahoma has a really good one. OU. Um, I don't know about that. State has a really good one as well. Just to name a couple. about um, Missouri, about uh, as far as their meteorology, I don't know too so much about that. The University of Alabama in Huntsville has a good atmospheric science program, so you can check that one out. the person when it's their own channel. <laughs> She's a big LSU fan. And uh, a big Alabama fan, obviously. And she doesn't like that. Roll Tide. Yeah. Look at all that Roll Tide, Chloe, just for you. Everybody at once, say Roll Tide, Chloe. <laughs> Yeah. 
I know, right? <laughs> That's it. That's a negative on Kaufman. We're headed up to Elmo and the Wills Point and the dropping south. What's that? Uh, negative on Kaufman. We're going up to Elmo and then Wills Point and then dropping down south from there. All right. Why are we going to Kaufman? Because Kaufman's further away. All right. Cool. So, yeah, that's what it says on GPS at least. All right. Cool. All right, bye. Bye. So you're fully going now?
highway speeds, but it's about 30. said that he's moving at like 30 miles an hour. It's a little bit backed up, but we should be all right. Okay. So, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. See ya. And then her is like continues to a giant super soap right across the metro. Like, when? 4 a.m. Yeah, 4 a.m. I'm just saying for late. Yeah. And for media content, it's pretty good. Are you going to stay here then? No. Do hey, what? I can stay here and make it tomorrow. And make it tomorrow? Yeah. How long does it take to get there? Well, if I left early enough, I got up, I went to bed early. Yeah. That's how it happened. Yeah. Uh, so, a pedometer, the problem with a pedometer, there's no easy way to get there. Nope, sure isn't. You have to go to Meridian and then cut across through. That's what I'm worried about. If we do need to get to southern Georgia or south Alabama, it'd take a while to get there. I just don't think you're going to see the ice there. Not even a mess. Probably. It's Dixie, so it normally is. What's that? It's Dixie, so it normally is. Yeah. Yeah. Are you looking to play that point stuff? Yeah, I mean, I guess. I mean, we're heading over there. Gotcha. Honestly, I, I just I'm, I'm waiting. Has the OZ heard come out yet? Uh, no, I don't think. That's what I'm waiting to see. Oh, but this to be Alabama, so this to be Alabama, or something say, or farther west. Okay. Or as far isolated. Gotcha. Okay. So what time did it say you would get to Ruston? Eleven. Uh, get to rest about midnight. So I'm right there. Okay. I had been in the UP yesterday, but close to midnight. Okay. All right. And then, uh, if I'm at that point, I'm only like two hours from home, two and a half hours from home. Yeah, that's true. But for you, I don't feel like I'm going to push like I push last night. Last night, I was like seeing things. Even though it just like, wasn't that hard to drive, it just started so early. Oh God, the, the 23Z her has a big ass MCS. Pushing through southeast Georgia and South Alabama, which would absolutely screw up Winfields at noon. Uh, MCS pushing through there? Yeah, big ass MCS. So it veered me out. Oh, yeah, it was already veered. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. If that were right. the case, then Mississippi would be the only play tomorrow. Watch it back all the way up to here. Oh. <sighs> No, it's here too. Look at this jackass. See this, you, do you see this guy over here in the Lincoln? Yeah. The guy that came and cut us off that was good. I mean, we were going at a good rate of speed. Guess what? Now he's in the line that has the wreck. So. Don't let him in. Yeah, no, we're not. Somebody will, <laughs> though, I bet. Yeah, I'm not I'll planning on it. Anybody, man, get the gas. Yep. <laughs> yep. I got this uh, bumper. Uh, but. Um, they couldn't get it done until Thursday of this upcoming week, so I guess I'll put that off for a little bit. It should it yeah, should move pretty we quick. We should have coughed. It should move pretty quick. The guy in front of us said that he was moving really fast, and he said that the scene was almost cleared up. Gotcha. How much do you like your rear bumper? Enough to not let you hit it. Did you tap? Did you just tap it? it? Did you just tap it? Did you say don't? Yeah, don't hit it. Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, don't don't hit my bumper. <laughs> I'm not even close to it, dude. Okay. <laughs> you, you can walk between our cars right now without hitting your shins. Okay. 
Well, maybe not now. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll wait till the some more data comes in because I mean we got a ways to rust in anyway. Yeah. A couple hours, so. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, let me know your vision. The price. Okay. All righty. Well, yeah. I don't. I'm need. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And the the her. I mean, the her was awful today. So it makes me wonder if it's gonna be bad tomorrow too. It wasn't awful today, it just missed one storm. <laughs> the storm. <laughs> <laughs> the storm, it missed the storm. Well, today was a, like, a, yeah, today was a long shot either way. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that, for sure. Absolutely. You know what baseballs report? 3.55 inch measured hail and, uh, over here in the east. Yeah. Yeah, true. That's pretty yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, well, I'm going to wait on that OZ run to come out, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. All right, I, I, I would like some sleep, though, at some point. What's that? I would like some sleep at some point, though. Yeah, same. All right, see you. moving at least. Going around the semi on the shoulder. Oh, hey, Doug, thank you for that uh, super chat future insurance plan. Might get nasty tonight. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate that. And there goes another one down the shoulder. No good intercepts yet, Jason. Uh, it's been kind of a slow day. Uh, but we're going to go all night tonight. We're going to catch all these storms that are heading into Louisiana and get on those. Get some hail. Are they already in Shreveport? No. No, they're north. We'll, we'll catch up to them. Because it has us getting in Shreveport at 10 o'clock. Okay. Seriously thought he was going to hit the bumper. He was so close. If, uh, Ruston, where is Ruston? Middle of Louisiana. Oh, pretty much in between. Oh, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. West. On the Jackson. Jackson, Mississippi. Uh huh. Because they have some cheap hotels. They do. Hmm, done you so good to ride the shoulder, didn't it? <laughs> Where'd they go? I can see him still up on the shoulder.
Beautiful traffic. Yeah, let's try to get good good job, Carla. Let's try to get to twenty six point five thousand subscribers in the next twenty four hour in the next two hours. That'd be incredible. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. That way you get notifications, letting you know when I go live and things like that. If we were in the right lane and somebody tried to do that on the shoulder, I would tell you to pull on the shoulder and block them. I would have already been there. It's just like if a lane is in a lane ends to road work. Mm -hmm. I will hog the lane that is closing until the last second. Yep. Did we not get caught in this same stretch, or was that Arkansas? That was Arkansas. That was Arkansas. Yeah, at least with this one, we're moving. Yeah, don't get too excited. We're above 10. No, I didn't listen to that song, Chloe. Sorry about that. I, I, I completely forgot. Send me the link to it, and I'll, I'll take a I'll take a listen to it later on tonight. I can't listen to it while I'm on the stream because that would be licensing, copyright issues. Somebody said we just off road at this point. I mean, yeah, that's how you get in trouble. I mean, we've gone off road many times, many, many times. So don't put it past me, but probably not this time. We do some crazy things on this stream, but maybe not do that.
take to get to Montgomery? 11 hours. From here? Yep. From here? Yep. From where we are at, it takes 11 hours? Probably 10 and a half. How do you know that? Just take a guess. Okay, we're going to look on that. On that note, we're looking. 10 and a half hours. We're almost through this, by the way. Yeah. Mont Gom Ari. Ten half hours. Nine. You were way off. Let me guess. You were forbidden from guessing. <laughs> way off. Off by an hour and a half. That's way off. No, it's not. That's way off. If you get caught by another wreck, it won't be way off. <laughs> <laughs> it's your job to keep us away from the wrecks, Chris. Hey, you were going navigating. He just told me it was still going. <laughs> yeah. Do, do. Call me crazy, but I still think there's tornado potential tonight in Louisiana. Call me crazy. You're crazy. Nope. I am not, Chris. Oh, you told me to call you crazy. I know. Set you up for it. Set you up for failure. Of course. Severe thunderstorm watch for portrait of Oklahoma. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. That one storm that come off that outflow boundary down in San Angelo, come back. Do what? That one storm down near San Angelo on the boundary came back. Did I do it? Yeah. reading through some of those comments. Yeah, you're dang right I was scared that one night. So we were at, uh, I was out in BFE, Missouri <laughs> and uh, on some back road there was nobody. It was like Amazonia or something. I can't remember what it was called. I think it's Amazonia. I think it sounds right. Um, there was nobody out there. Like there were no houses. There was no nothing. There was a cell tower and then like this like dirt road or whatever. I was sitting out there and I was watching the lightning show of the storm that was crossing the Mississippi River and then I was like man somebody could scare the living shit out of me if they came up here and like knocked on my door or something like that because there was nobody around there and about about five minutes after that I see these headlights start driving from this road that I didn't know was there <laughs> and the, I pulled out I was like nope nope not doing that not doing that on the, <laughs> I'm not getting trespassed and then getting shot at not doing that so I got on the I got on the road and started driving. It was a guy on a four wheeler came by and said one of his friends told him to come by and scare me. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Looks like both sides of the interstate is closed. What do you mean? Like the other side is closed. Like traffic is backed up over there. No. Yeah. There's a car right there. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is traffic is backed up. No. No tornado yet. There haven't been any tornadoes to get. No tornadoes today. Not for anybody. Watch out for Bigfoot. Yep. Not happening. Banjos playing in the distance. Friend. 
friend is an asshole. This is where it should get fun. What do you mean? This is where everybody starts to merge over. Great. Watching the, the awning? What What are you talking about? The, oh, the awning where just all of a sudden... Yeah, it was another time. I was lucky as hell. Baseballs start flying all around me. I'm by this lake. There's nothing. And then all of a sudden, like, I see this park and there's an awning. Or the or there's a boat ramp. So I just park underneath the awning and don't have anything to do with my car. And I, meanwhile, I've got a shot of the lake and just baseballs. Dunk, dunk. Hitting out in the water. That's pretty wild. Everybody said that I spawned the awning right there. Wish I could do that sometimes. Wish I could have done it yesterday so I didn't have a crack in my windshield. <laughs> smell something. <laughs> Still waiting to see that car that caught on fire on the way over here. <laughs> there was no car. There is so much traffic on that other side. I'm wondering if it's closed over there too. Up the hill, not out the hill. We'll be through this traffic here in a little bit and then we'll be chasing again. Doggy. Oh. We got a dog in this car. Everybody wants to see a dog. Doggy. They dropped today to a slight risk. Doggy. Why is it out of focus? Hold on now. Hold up. We got to figure this out. Hold on, bear it back. Focus. Manual. Uh, nope.
maybe even a flooding threat setting out for Louisiana, northern Louisiana. Wouldn't put that. It's definitely a possibility. This one's gonna break off and go south. Not all these are gonna go north. See, this one's already bowing out right here. This one's gonna, I, that one may have some, uh, so, so, it's gonna get a curve to it. Skunk? What is that? Like breach in your butt. Just a second, everybody. I gotta book a hotel before we start losing stuff. So, and then once we do that, we'll I'll be able to look at the chat some more. Either Vicksburg or Jackson. Jackson's not. I don't Jackson. think Vicksburg. Vicksburg does not have some. no. It does not. Unless you want to separate the white ship at seven o'clock in the morning. No, no. Been there, done that, without hotel. Yeah, I don't want to do that.
Yeah, yeah. It's that Lincoln. Good. <laughs> Good deal. I'm sorry, but that just made me way more happier burning. than it should have. <laughs> I love it. Sorry, guys, I'm having to get a hotel real quick. I'll be back on the chat in two seconds. Give me like 15 minutes.
Silver car is involved as well. Did you see the silver car up there? He's trying to cut him off. No, I didn't see it. 
centrist, compromised, west, and fundamentally. Yeah, oh no, never mind, it was a different car. It's that black truck up there that's been instigating everything. Alright, well, I think we may try to get to Jackson. Yeah, it was not far. Cool. Alright, bye. Later.
silver car got back over and left. They're going to pass us now.
get them closer to the Louisiana border. They should start all moving to the southeast. I think a flooding threat can set up over Louisiana later on and overnight as well. So we'll be on that. But I didn't want to start a stream at like freaking 10 o'clock. So just bear with me as I'm trying to get a hotel.
like a suburb of, uh, it's a suburb of Jackson. Yeah. As long as it ain't farther. No. Because I'm pushing it. No.
hotel booked. Yeah, we're chasing the nighttime risk. Uh, there is definitely a nighttime risk across uh, Louisiana and into Mississippi later on. Um, so, sorry, there was a dead zone there. My, uh, the hotspot decided to stop working for a few seconds.
probably head that way. <laughs> Are you following me? <laughs> it cracks me up. Tornado threat is not done tonight. Anybody who's watching this on the stream still. There is still a chance of tornadoes tonight. Mainly over Louisiana at this point. You can book the hotel and then uh, once you go on past the hotel, just keep chugging. Yep. We'll be chasing for a while tonight.
safety times and she pretty me too. <laughs> in the same exact direction to go to Dixie. But not in this car. No, not in this car. <laughs> you know, I didn't have to take drum of me today. You what? I didn't have to take drum of me today. I've been looking at the, I've been looking at the computer and everything. I didn't take drum of me for the motion sickness. Guess what? You still got four hours left. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So far, so good. Smell an expo marker. Yeah, I got a little whiff of that as well. I'm not <laughs> sure what that is. It's a very real possibility that we may be heading towards Vicksburg tomorrow, back in Louisiana to chase. What time is that? That's it. That's late. Oh, so that's we'll be able to sleep in a little bit tomorrow night. That's our takes our can and stuff. It's at four o'clock in the afternoon, so we may have to double back. But at the same time, we want to leave it open to get east if we need to, because the herd has been pretty bad today. Uh, so, is that the Rufus or the herd? That's the herd, not the Rufus. Not the Rufus. God, I think see what the Rufus says. All oh, Rufus is probably outbreak territory. Yeah. <laughs> Rufus probably outbreaked it. Rufus promotes high risk. Every single <laughs> run. The OZ has not run up the Rufus yet. But I will almost guarantee you it does not have an outbreak. That is weird. It could not be any further from complex of storms coming through and in the morning and screwing everything up. And then later on at night at midnight, all hell breaks loose across central Mississippi and Alabama. I don't believe that at all. I think there's a, I think there's a decent possibility we could be looking at a ratio across south central Alabama. It's going to be flood galore up there. Not necessarily. It's not really training. No. It pushes south. This is going to be heavy. Oh, it's going to be heavy. <laughs> yeah. In a place that's not got much rain lately. Yeah.
Springfield River, Alabama. But it doesn't have a storm in Alabama. But it does take it pretty much into ratio across the southern part of Alabama. gets upgraded to a modern for wind. Yep. They'll probably go 10 hats for spin-ups. You won't do 10, they wouldn't do 10 hats for spin-ups. They'd have to be a 10 for spin-up. Spin-up uh, hats would be insignificant. Yeah, not a problem. Okay. I still like that. Okay. We'll see. Spin-ups along that line. Could it could happen. I've seen it happen before. Don't discount it. Yes, 100%. Uh, Sonic corn dogs are some of the best. I don't know about the best, just because I'm really thrown off by the question. I wasn't prepared to answer that question yet. But. Sonic definitely top three. Um, I'm going through my ranking of corn dogs right now in my head. What are your What are your corn dog rankings? Dairy oh, Queen has a solid corn dog. At least they used to. They have corn dogs. They did. <laughs> um, Crystal used to have. Uh, you know what Crystal is? Yeah. They used to have corn dogs. Uh, who else has corn dogs? Gas station, yeah. Oh my god, where have I got a corn dog before? That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Sonic has... Uh, I, I will go on the record and say that Sonic has the best corn dog. Uh, other than a fair. Like a fair where it's like fried right then. The big old like foot long corn dogs. Those are the best. The... the, the, the the, uh, when, you, when you get them at the fair, that's that's the best corn dog. But for the fast food, probably probably Sonic. They got a they got a pretty strong corn dog there. Monday is ninety nine cent corn dog day. It's Wednesday, isn't it? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Can somebody research that? I think tomorrow is 99 cent corn dog day at Sonic. I will go and buy 10 corn dogs and eat them all. Yep. <laughs> will somebody go and uh, research that real quick? I will eat that for breakfast. I think I'll eat that all day long. I'll eat corn dogs all day long. Do they like put a maximum that you can get? Mm -hmm. I'd get like 25. <laughs> yes, I'll take 25 of your finest corn dogs. Give me the box. Yeah. <laughs> Just cook them. The whole chat is about corn dogs right now. Corn dogs. Listen, hold up. I stopped at a gas station. 
A Hux gas station one night. Hux? Hux. What is Hux? I don't know, but I stopped. Okay. And I don't know, but I stopped. This was like 2 a.m. in the morning. Got I was it. coming down to a chase. Okay. Seen they had a corn dog. Okay. They had like four. Regular corn dog wrap. You know, I, I get the corn dog. Okay. Get something to drink, get out to the car, and I'm starting down the interstate, and I get a bite of that corn dog. And, <sighs> what? Okay. It was a pepper corn dog. Oh, that's a that one of the the pepper, uh, whatever you call them. The, uh, they were spicy. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, I made that mistake. Oh my god. I made that mistake one time. Thankfully, I was close to home. I was on my way back from a chase in Northwest <laughs> Alabama, and I went into Logan's or not Logan's, but uh, uh, Loves to get a corn dog. They got the regular corn dogs, <laughs> and then they got the other corn dogs. I didn't know the difference. I never had a corn dog. Jalapeno corn dogs. There we go. Right. I went in there, I took a bite of it, and I was like, that doesn't taste like a corn yeah. dog. It was a jalapeno cheddar corn dog. Yeah. And if I wasn't within about five step, steps of a restroom, I would not have finished that corn dog. Well, let's just say that uh, I didn't make it to the back. You didn't? Dang. I was on the side of uh, Interstate 40. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. That's an awful scene. Yeah, uh, just imagine a pair of socks when I'm missing that. No, done. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> we are the only Storm Chaser streaming right now. <laughs> you are looking live at the only Storm Chaser streaming right now. We will be on Storms. Mark my words. We will be on Storms. <laughs> Stick with us throughout the night. It, as we're getting to these stores, we're going to have an incredible conversation. I had to take a little bit of a break to get a hotel, but uh, I mean, we're, we're going all the way to Jackson tonight, so uh, as Bruno Mars says in his song, I don't know what it's called, Jackson, Mississippi. That's where we're going. That's where we're going, Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. It. Boom! Somebody said it right there. Right, right when you, Anthony called it before you. I'm giving, I was it, I'm giving it. I'm giving it to Anthony. I was singing it. I'm in giving my it head. to Anthony. Anthony was. Anthony said it right before you did. Good call, Anthony. Good call, Anthony. In my head, and I got to the part where it said it. <laughs> I'm gonna go on the record. I'm gonna say it right now on the stream. I think tomorrow we have a ratio. I think we have a ratio tomorrow across Water south. Risk, south hats, forty-five percent hats win. I think so. Fifteen percent hats hail. Yeah. Maybe thirty. Yeah. I, I think we get a ratio across South Mississippi, South Alabama tomorrow, and the South Georgia overnight. You don't get that. I mean, if, if the herd is even somewhat right, ninety not eighty-five to ninety not eighty uh, eight fifty jet. It's gonna be a little windy tomorrow. Yeah. That's not, I'm not gonna wear a hat tomorrow. It's gonna be a little windy. Better hold down your toupee. Toupee? You said you were losing your hair because you're getting oh, old. Yeah, but this is real. Yankees. You're all natural. I just seen lightning. Are we no, you didn't. no, you didn't. You didn't see lightning. I swear to God, I did not here. Don't tickle me. I'm not joking. Okay. There, I mean, there's a storm up in, up in Texarkana, two counties away. That was like right here. Is this where it would be? Yeah. That's where I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll start seeing lightning here in a bit. There's a big storm that we're coming up to. That one that come out of Shreveport, what's it doing? Uh, merging with the one near Rustin? I don't know. Hold on.
going on the record to ratio tomorrow. I said the D word. I said it, folks. Live on the stream. I'm going to I'm gonna have to censor that out. You're going to have to pay him 50 bucks. <laughs> you might want to see it because you're going into a lot of trees. <laughs> no, you can see it above the trees. We have lightning. <laughs> We're storm chasing. And now you thought I was full of shit. We are actively storm chasing. <laughs> Frankie. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, hold on. I, um, about to cross the state line, I think. I don't know where we're at. I just saw lightning for the first time today, so I got kind of excited. Cross the state line. Louisiana. Oh shit, okay, so you're not too far behind. No. No, we, uh, where am I at? I'm just, we're just south of Marshall, Texas. Northwest oh, okay, of yeah. DeBerry. Not too far. Oh, well, I didn't know how far west you guys went today, so I didn't know. I didn't know if you guys just stayed in or <laughs> if you guys didn't know. We, so, you know that Love's gas station? Yeah. We sat there for four and a half hours. <laughs> oh, my God. Not, there was nothing that happened, so we, uh... <laughs> We uh, decided, we, I gave it till 6.30, and then we started going east. Nothing ever formed. The herd did, like, the herd did okay with northeast Texas, but it did awful for uh, central. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, man, I just, had, I just had a bad feeling. Hello? And I can't fight this feeling anymore. Hey, you there? Okay. Um, uh, I, I was saying I had a bad feeling earlier today when the herd was when you're struggling to convict. Yeah. Like robust convection. So that's why I went east because I didn't need it to content for a day, man. That's why I did that. I'm glad I did it. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Um, I yeah, mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not worried about it. Tomorrow should be. Tomorrow should get plenty of content for everything. Yeah. Hell, well, I, I'm, I'm going. I'm going on the record and saying it right now. We're gonna have a ratio tomorrow. South Mississippi, South Alabama, South South Georgia. Yeah. Looks I think like we do. Four there in North Louisiana, South Arkansas. Yep. Go look at go look at your 850 wins on the her. The, the OZ her. You got 90 knot. Jesus. And it stays there the whole time. A big bowling ball. Well, yeah. Look, those storms look like they got mean business tomorrow, dude. Yeah, I agree. Real. I agree. Should have quite a few storms too. So, are you? Uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stay in Jackson tonight. Yeah, I'm going to Vicksburg. Just go to Vicksburg, just, stay there. The hotel choices in Vicksburg is not very good. Yeah, well, I, I have that IHG thing, the IHG awards. Yeah, we're staying we're staying at we're staying in a um, Holiday Inn Express. That's right. Vicksburg Stay in the hotel, get some sleep, and then I come tomorrow and do the shit all over again. Yeah, last day tomorrow. I'm not chasing anymore after that. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of what my thoughts are like. One more day and then go home. So. I don't, I, as of right now, I don't see any reason for them to upgrade to 10% tornado probability. But who knows? SP, um, SPC, SPCs. Is so. Is there a five for all? Yeah, it's five. Um, the wind, it's, the wind fields are just kind of jacked. But if you get better, if you get better banked winds at the surface, then it could could do something. I just don't. I don't see tornadoes as a huge thing tomorrow, but uh, the hail's just going to be insane. And the, the, it's, it, it's, 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 I mean, when, you, when you've got baseballs that are going to have 80 mile per hour winds with them with a severe thunderstorm, that's going to cause a lot of problems. Yeah, you know, I, I like the look, I just looked at the kind of work well. Like, I think they could extend the 5% a little west into southeast Arkansas and northeast Louisiana. Um, and also, I like it as it also depends on how these storms act, uh, act tonight. Yeah, no, because there's going to be a pretty big blob that moves across Arkansas and North Louisiana and stuff tonight. If that if that blob doesn't happen, though, then uh, South Alabama and South Georgia is the play for sure for tornadoes tomorrow. Big day for tornadoes. Yeah, you're talking downstream implications from tonight. So yes, right? yes. Yeah. If, if, that, if these storms kind of fizzle out or... You know, aren't as strong. If it's not like a big MCS that comes and wipes everything out, then I can easily see tomorrow being big for tornadoes in South Alabama, South Georgia. Uh, but if that MCS kind of wipes things out like those seas, uh, those Z is suggesting, I think probably wind and hail and maybe some isolated tornadoes too. Sounds good to me. All right. Well, y'all be careful driving. I'm, uh, I'm about 45 minutes from Pittsburgh, so. All right. Sounds good, man. Be safe. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. See ya. <laughs> 45 miles, or 45 miles from Vicksburg, and he said, oh, we went too far behind. We oh, like is he two, really? We, yeah. like, we like 200 miles behind. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty good ways <laughs>
230 miles to a tank flight. Okay.
red light. No, why would I have seen a red light? Pole. It was like a speed camera. Are you going fast? No. Like, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Like, you, you see the cameras on, like, traffic lights and everything that have the brake below. Yeah. That's what that was. Huh.
one more War Eagle in your band. <laughs> What's up, Sweet Cheeks? Why did you get off with me? <laughs> Why did... Is that, is that a two-man job? I was going to buy you a corn dog. Oh, no, no! <laughs> God, I want a corn dog. And they have the best corn dog place in the country right there. No, they don't. You're lying. Is it Sonic? No, it's Texas corn dogs. What? <laughs> yeah, it's like a drive-thru shack for these fucking football corn dogs. No, why didn't you tell me? Oh, oh man, I was about to start crying. <laughs> I love I love a good corn dog, dude. Uh, no, there's these corn dogs, you have like these channels where you can put like mustard and ketchup in it if you want it. Yeah. No, uh, I think you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to hang back at Rustin. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to see models. Yeah, you looked at those, the hair, I guess. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll hang back at Rustin. I want to put myself in a position to be able to get to Alabama if I need to. If, if for whatever reason that MCS overnight doesn't evolve and then we get tornadoes in South Alabama and South Georgia, I want to be able to get there for that. Again. <laughs> June. <laughs> it's June. <laughs> I know. What happens if... No deal to get tornadoes in June. What? What happens in June? What happened? What happens in June? The ratios happen in June. Exactly. What happens when you have extreme instability and uh, uh, boundary access with linear upper level photos? And 99s below level jet. Yeah, like everything they're fucking describing in all the outlooks, like for supercells and giant helicopter has been what? Yeah. Garbage. Yep. Yep, but doesn't even have a significant, not even hatch for wind tomorrow. That'll uh, change. That'll change. I don't think it will. I bet they have. I, I, I bet. Because uh, it's got some pretty gnarly super cells there. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, I mean, we can get. We can get. Back, we can get back. We can get to Ruston in like an hour and a half from Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Um. I just, I, I, I booked it after I looked, or before I looked at the OZ, her, just thinking that we had to get somewhere to Alabama possibly tomorrow. Yeah, I was, I was kind of just completely rolled out Alabama Southern Georgia all together. Okay. Just because it's, well, yeah, just because, because it's, it's so absurd. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, said, I, I, I think we'll probably wake up tomorrow to a, uh, I think we wake up tomorrow to a moderate, moderate risk for wind. I'll go on the record and say it. I think we're going to ratio tomorrow. Yeah, you've been saying that for a while. Yep. Yeah, I agree with every now so. Yeah. So, I'm yelling it from a, I, I'm yelling it from a mountain. Or the hill that's in Louisiana. What's that? I'm yelling it from the hill in Louisiana. But the hill or the hill? A hill. Okay, so both. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Those, those storms do look pretty gnarly up in... Uh, I know they do. Especially that yeah. one that's up in... Uh, oh, near Cotton Valley. The one that's about to get a tornado warning on it. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pumping into that better area where there's zero to one velocity. <laughs> so, it looks good. It looks really, really good. I'm going to go get a tornado near Monroe, probably. Near Monroe and Rustin. Uh, probably go east of Ruston, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be east of Ruston. Won't be the first one I got in Ruston. Yep. Yep. Kind of looks like the one yesterday looked until it crapped out. Be the first one I got in Actually, 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 velocity looks better right now than anything that I saw yesterday. Jesus, dude, what is what the? Yeah. I bet we get a tornado warning within the next 15, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, it's not the tail. What are the surface officers there? Not a clue. Hold on. If their winds are back, there's a chance for tornadoes. If they're not, then they're probably not. They're backed. Southeast winds. They're back. At one or ten. Huh? At one or ten. Uh. 
they are bagged in Minden, just south of it. There's no, there's no mezzo, there's no waste. Ruston is no direction, it doesn't show any direction. Monroe is northeast wind, and it's, it's right on the boundary, but it's moving into it. it, it's good. I bet it, I bet it does. It, it'll get close. Holy cow. Cow. It'll be close, so, yep. We should, we're, we don't have to, we don't have to get gas or anything like that, so we're going to keep going to it. You should be able to catch back up to us. We're going to head to that one south of Magnolia and uh, north of Minden and get it as we're going east. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you didn't get off with me because they had to ramp close to get back one and you had to go back on 20 west uh -huh. to get off the next exit to go 20 east. Oh, so you're a little ways behind then. Yeah, it was the shit ever. Huh. You'll get there in time, though. What's that? You'll get there in plenty of time. I am. Uh, it's just six miles deep tomorrow to play Oh, that latest radar scan, it, it's going to get a tornado warning on it soon, I bet. RFD is wrapping in. It's right on the outflow right of it. It's wrapping in. Yeah, it's wrapping in. Huh? It's like gangster rap. Gangster. Straight ga it's not straight gangster yet, but it's it's kind of like, it's kind of old school. Old school rap. Big, big hail spike in it, too. We get a I bet we get a tornado warning soon on it. I'm waiting to see the next velocity scan. The uh, latest reflectivity scan looks really good. Uh, it looks like it's still very broad on a lot of, a lot of strong wind. Good, good, really good inflow into it, but no, no, uh, no RFD wind. Not much. No RFD. Uh, huh? Could be. It's all inflow into it right now. Could be really great. Could be. I mean, I mean, we can already see the lighting from it. What lighting? We can already see the lightning from it. Lightning? Yeah, lightning. Oh, shit. Oh, there are aliens. It's heat lightning. <laughs> heat lightning, exactly. I'm going to stop back here. She's right. Okay, sounds good. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun with that. See how that works out. Yep, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, see. This shit's going over there. Dude, it's so humid. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a little moist outside. What's that? It's a tidbit moist. Yeah, the lights that are shining up on the rest area, like the fucking Texas rest area. Yeah. It looks, it looks like a smoky concert lights. <laughs> it's like foggy. Whether you can wear uh, it. I just crossed the blue theater. Alright, well I'm gonna pull into Shreveport and get a get a chiropractor adjustment. Oh. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Bye. I was trying to hold on to that gas station and green while I was <laughs> Alright. <Yeah. laughs> well, I was trying to do gas so yeah. right, later. See ya. Bye. Is he talking about gas station green? Here we go, baby. Here goes my suspension. Axle on the ground. I really do think we may have a tornado here soon. But I mean it's it's nothing we're gonna have to bust it to get there. I mean we're gonna meet it right up right up at the time on the interstate. People in uh Homer, Louisiana need to watch that storm pretty closely. You probably already get a pretty good bit of rain with it. Um but uh, it is definitely picking up in intensity, uh, big time hail. A lot of lightning. We're coming through Shreveport right now, coming from the west. It won't, we won't, it won't take long for us to cut it off. No, that wasn't Vince. That was uh, that was Brandon Clement. Whoa, what? Natural gas. Oh, that's uh, what? Yep, natural gas.
game there. I can't remember what it is, though. It's the, uh, the, the, I think it's the Liberty Bowl. The Liberty Bowl they play there each year. That was a Bear Bryant. You ever heard of Bear Bryant? Famous football coach? That's where he coached his last game. The second greatest ever football coach behind Nick Saban. I don't watch football. <laughs> but you watch basketball? Very rarely. Really? Do you watch any sports? Basketball. My team's in it. Okay. I'm not only watch sports the hands. You like Kentucky, don't you? Maybe. Shit. How'd you guess? You're wearing a blue cutoff shirt. And you're from Kentucky. Well, the blue cutoff shirt has nothing to do with it. But okay. <laughs> That's true, I guess. <laughs> said that alligators are so ornery because they got so many teeth and no toothbrush. <sighs> no tornadoes yet, but that could be changing. There's only been one tornado today up in like the panhandle of Texas. Last there like weren't two seconds. Yeah, and there, there just weren't tornadoes to get. I think as the night continues, the tornado chances are going to increase um, across Louisiana. So we're going to continue going. That's the reason I'm still streaming. We well, stream until there are no storms not to stream. And personally, I'm just thankful that I saw a lightning strike today. <laughs> it's a little things, Chris. A little things. Like the sweet limit dropping to 50. Ooh, look at up there. <laughs> Texarkana, hello. Yeah, look at the winds on that. Hello. Supercell City. Here comes the chiropractor, does not. <laughs> yep, I can see the casinos. Here it comes. It's like right when you cross that bridge. Yeah. <laughs> you know roads are bad when like you don't live here and you know the roads are bad. <laughs> like, do better, Shreveport. These roads. Shreveport was hit by a tornado a couple months ago. Yeah. I was here. Here they come. 
This is what we've been waiting on, folks. Check out these roads. And bump. And another bump. This is where this is where it gets exciting. And pothole. Another pothole. I mean, just watch this person in front. Watch the trailer. This thing looks like a roller coaster ride. And bump. And bump. And big bump. Oh my god. <laughs> It's almost comical how bad the road is. Good God. <laughs> I mean, just look at the dude's trailer bouncing around. It looks like a little kid's bouncy house over there just bouncing around everywhere. <laughs> Dude's like, I need a new suspension. Screw this. Did you hear him pulling off the off ramp? Boom! <laughs> big bottle. Oh, hey, hey, what? What is this? Are we doing construction? Sorry, Port? Nope, never mind. <laughs> back to garbage. Alright, back to weather. Um, two supercells that I'm watching right now. There's one back in Texarkana. There's another one that's south of Magnolia, Arkansas. Uh, that is across in Louisiana. Let me get a better city name. Uh, Homer. Homer, Louisiana. Uh, that does show signs of rotation, Homer. Um, definitely signs of rotation. It does have an inflow notch in there. Uh, really waiting on those RFD winds to wrap around to see if it has tornado potential or not. Uh, but I would keep a very close eye on that if I were in. If I were in Homer, uh, it looks like at the very least it's going to be very large hail and some damaging wind. Almost looks like it's trying to split. Yeah, maybe right here. I think it's latched on that boundary. I don't think it's going to split. That one, may, yeah, that one may split off, but I don't think it's going to force this one off the boundary. Though. God, these roads. I'm glad I don't have to go ten one hundred like that one. Yeah. Golly. Da ding, da ding, da ding, da ding.
that better?
smoking the good stuff. Yeah, probably the one in front of us with the pipe not single one, pipe from not single one. Mm -hmm. Somebody is smoking some weed tonight. It's crazy how you can smell that from a car bag. He's got it in his mouth. <laughs> He's literally smoking it out of the car. Good guy, let's stay away from that guy.
chasing it. Figured it'd be a late night tonight. Storm right now is just east of Homer now. Um, strength, uh, rotation is now strengthening again in it. Uh, it almost moved a little bit more to the right, almost. It may be trying to split once again. But rotation still looks good near Homer. We are just south of Minden right now, going east on Interstate 20. Moist. 
constant lightning now. You really have to go to the black point. This sucks. You sure do. I'm really hoping we jump back out and just out. Well, hope for the best. What's the window down for? I don't know, I just filmed the air. Okay. <laughs> Is it illegal to fill the air? <laughs> yes. There will be no air for you. Come on. Jesus. I'm already going to have to back into a pump. Are you? Yeah. No, there's one on that side. Right here. Oh, okay. Big deal. Oh, we don't need to clean off the windshield. We'll get rained on. Why is the windshield wiper on? Why are the windshield wipers on? <laughs> Turn that off. <laughs> oh. Get the keys? Yeah. Oh. I'm getting old. We'll be right back.
smell like jalapeno cheese. <laughs> I'll take it over a second. Almost constant lightning up here in front of us. Hey Siri, direct me to Ruston. Oh, you don't need directions to call me. Straight. Unless you're just one of them. Oh no, it's just a habit. Output from this storm is incredible. 
they probably mentioned the word tornado. I bet they did. Probably for the storm. Let's take a look. Tornado possible. Where do you see that? Tornado possible. Yeah, tornado possible on this one, guys. I just saw the considerable. Two inch hail. Skull balls. That ain't nothing. No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Tanya Griffin going after it. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Russ Shelton not far in front of us. No, we were, we were in front of him, but we had to stop. Oops. It's all right. It's not my desk. Sorry, I had to urinate. <laughs> I, was, I was not going to hold it any longer. Here we go.
it's in there for six hours. Does it say it on the box? Mm -hmm. Should be a little tag on it. Uh, no tag it's that old.
east. This one has, this one's moving southeast, this one's moving more east. It was moving southeast, maybe it's splitting again.
thunderstorm warning on this one yet. No tornado warning yet. Just severe thunderstorm warning.
Oh, we're in Ruston. <laughs> yeah. How close are those trees, though? I uh, can't tell. We need a good lightning strike. Hmm. Uh, not very close. I mean, not very far. <laughs> yeah, they're not. <laughs> that may be up near Texarkana. That's the one they're talking about. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, forget these two. Let's go take our camera. No. <laughs> no. It's a hard no. Honestly, I think we're seeing a combination of like everything. Yeah. The storm back here, that one. Yeah. Cars take our mirrors out. <laughs> Here, do the one shot. Clean the one shot. One shot off a little bit. I don't think it was dirty. I think the air's just blowing up at it and falling a bit. Okay, close your window then. Maybe it's too humid in here or something. Let me turn this on. I think uh, <laughs> I turn them off. 
Ja. New Boston. Oh man, that wouldn't shock me if there's a tornado warning out for that. Like, very soon. <laughs> That one's sucking that problem in. I have no clue. It's falling apart though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just sit here and wait on that when it comes. Because it'll cross right here, it won't take long. <laughs> we do honestly the, do the windshield wipers in here. Like, what the heck, man? We may be better off going back up to that uh, next exit up where it's flat. It doesn't look great anywhere. No. It's all garbage. What you just passed, you saw it was semi flat up there. Let's wait here for just a couple of minutes. trip to go to Homer. I'm waiting to see if they put a tornado warning out for this one. It doesn't look very good on velocity. Golly. Texarkana. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh my they god. Keep in mind, keep in mind, it's far, far away. away from radar. Yeah. So it's shooting up. It, so it could just be the mezzo too. <laughs> they need a radar in Texarkana. You're not lying. <laughs> Bad. How far are we from Texas? <laughs> Too long. I'm waiting to see what this one does. This one's done. In front of slot and it's quick completely on it. It's still going. It's still lightning. Oh, yeah, I see it now. It's, it's still lightning, that. but... Looks like it's trying to trying to spin back around. The hook is partially disconnected.
there's quite literally nobody on that storm up there either. <clears throat> so right now we're watching the storm to our north kind of fizzle out the storm to our northwest now that's headed towards homer has got our attention now it's it's a rotating supercell it's starting to push out more flip around more right here now crashing south. Need to go back west a little bit? I don't know. I mean, but if we go back west, we're not going to be able to see it. I can't yeah. point the camera to it. It won't point that far. All right, we'll be able to point through the windshield. Do the ace defrost or something. <laughs> something on the wind wipers because they were working once I cleaned them off today. Track has the core of that storm coming right here where we're sitting at. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I don't think we need to go anywhere. Clement's not far behind us. Clement. in Texarkana, Jesus. I still don't think, nothing about that makes me think that that is actually ground, they're not, I bet they don't warn that until no. they get ground circulation. Because look at that how. I mean, you're looking at from Shreveport right there. Yeah. There probably is something there, though. I would probably warn that. I would probably warn that. Mm -hmm. This would be a good time to be able to access the, uh, the Ida Bell radar. Yep. Oh, yeah, uh, just make the Ida Bell radar public. You don't need a Texarkana radar. <laughs> Q, just said, Q just sent $5 and said, how much do I have to pay you to get you to go to Texarkana? Chris, met, back me up here. <laughs> By the time we got to Texarkana, that thing will be long gone. Well, long gone. Well, the windshield really. wiper, or the windshield's clean now. Uh, actually, by the time we got in Texarkana, that storm will probably be uh, right here where this one's at. Yeah. <laughs> and probably doing the exact same thing that it's doing. <laughs> We're waiting on that one that's coming down from the, from the northwest. I want to see if they can do anything. We've got a direct route into that, into Homer. If we, if that one in Spring Hill does anything. Well, the one in front of us just took a major dump. Yeah. Uh, this one in front of us looks like a windbag right now. Needs to ingest that outflow. I think it's trying. That or it's bowing out. Or 
we're splitting. Watch up here. Watch this. Yeah. Watch the top side. Maybe he's splitting off. Where's the rear window? Does it defrost? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I guess we're right on a boundary or something right here. <laughs> we have to be. Oh wow, the back window really was popped up. <laughs> wow, we, yeah, this is definitely a boundary right here. I thought I was just crazy. In this is a, so. it's a thermal boundary. That's what it is. I think this one may have outflowed. Yep. I think you will see it die. Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh my god, the one up there. Yeah. It almost looks like a donut hole. And it just like dove south. Look at it going east, and then see ya. Watch it going. Boop. Yep. Yeah, it's done. It's done. That one that dove southeast is done. It strengthens really fast and then dies. Strengthens really fast, dies. See, east strengthen fast, done. Right when it made that turn, that's when it could have done it. This one's outflow dominant. You see the outflow band. See it? Mm -hmm. Outflow band. But it leads into there, so it makes me think that it may be trying to ingest it. So we'll sit here and see what it does for a second. It's coming right here, so I'm not worried about it. I don't want to drive 30 minutes out of the way and have to drive 30 minutes all the way back. If it does. Zero Sigtor here. Cap's building as well. I wonder if that's what that killed that. It wouldn't be a bad thing if all these storms just died. Because that would set the stage tomorrow for something that could happen in, in South Mississippi and South Alabama. That wouldn't be an awful thing. All that stuff out there near Jackson's fizzling out too. Mm-hmm. It's hitting that cap. Yep. Some could spin up pretty quick though if it doesn't just that boundary right there. This will stay on it. Near Spring Hill is the one that we're watching, everybody. Dude, the whole car is like. Popped over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel sorry for people that are coming through here because I know they think I'm the law sitting here. <laughs> yeah, probably so. I've got the headlights turned off to the park lights and all. Yep. <laughs> got it curved. <laughs>
Yeah, Paul, I just saw your comment. This is a very unusual pattern for June. Um, we normally do not get tornadoes or even really tornado chances in Dixie this late. Um, we've had a couple of tornadoes, but it's been a while. Very, very long time. Um, so tomorrow is a bit bizarre. What I think is more likely is a derecho tomorrow rather than a supercell tornado event. The ratios are fun, though. Um, Jesus. I've never seen a car hit their brakes harder. <laughs> Are they going to run it? Yeah. He didn't have any headlights. No, he has one. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was hauling it and locked it up. But yeah, typically down in, down in the south in Dixie, things like that, or even in the south central plains, we get you know, in, insane instability values like this every year. That's nothing new. That's why we have these pop-up summertime thunderstorms that are can sometimes cause some damage with wind and downbursts and things like that. But we normally don't have the amount of shear that we need to get tornadoes. And we actually have a little bit of shear. Um, it's not as much as models were showing, but tomorrow the models are showing quite a quite a bit of shear. So um, we'll just have to watch storms tomorrow. But a little bit of a weird set up, I guess you could say, for this area. Fail spike again. See it? Mm -hmm. Upwards of 51,000 feet now. That one is literally pulling that one back in. Yeah, you're right. There's also a boundary there, so it may be attached to it as well. It's fizzling out. This thing would be headed right towards us. It'll be here in the next 20 minutes. Don't you guess? 30. Well, probably 30 minutes, really, yeah. Especially if it's all bad. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty wannabe hook, though. It is. So this doesn't make sense. So your main rotation's like back up in here. Mm -hmm. But your rotation should be like right in this area. Mm -hmm. Maybe trying to do a hook handoff. I don't think so. I think it's just having a hard time adjusting the outflow boundary or the outflow that it shot off earlier. I don't think it's hooking it off. Because it never had great rotation to begin with, so it wouldn't be a hook handoff. <sighs> Tired or something? Yes. <laughs> we're what, what are we two hours away from Jackson? Like three. No, we're not. <sighs> two and a half hours. Okay. So I'll be there at one. If we left right now, we'd get there at 145. Okay. But we can sleep in tomorrow, so we're not too worried about it. I just have to make sure to call them until we're going to get a little bit light. Ooh, hey, we got lightning over there. <laughs> we're uh, red light spotting tonight. I love the names in that group chat. What? <laughs> oh, mine? <laughs> I got a glance of it and looked over. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> Big giant <laughs> sea man.
metal pass sync for them all. 15%. Hmm. Well. <laughs> there you go. Where's that at? Southeast Alabama, or yeah, Southeast Alabama. Okay, I'll go check that out in a second. I think this one's shit in the bed too. This one's doing the same exact thing as the other one did. Kind of dying off as well. Yeah, that, there must be a cap that right here. The wannabe hook is completely fizzling out. Wherever that is, is where we need to. <laughs> I just don't know if I buy it. Another thing is, that's at 1 o'clock tomorrow, so we have to leave early. You said it was dying. It looks like it wasn't me. No. Still has a severe thunderstorm worn out with considerable tag.
Yeah, they're not believing Texarkan either. Jesus, I'd still be warning that for hell. Oh, it's it's severe warned. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I believe it's severe warned. Yeah, it's severe warned up there. cycling now and I think we will make it we may get a circulation run up in this area you can see that hook kind of dies off mm -hmm. gets ingested into it gets ingested into it and you should see some development on the back side Jesus hmm big bug was on the way though oh We could go on north, like a hair, yeah. to Vaini, Vienna. Let's see. I don't know if that's Vaini, like Vaini winters. It's spelled the same way. Vaini, no. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, that's 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 pronounced Vienna as well. Vaini. Vaini. <laughs> Burn ice. <laughs> Where are you seeing Vienna? Right north of us. Oh. We're on the wrong exit then. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. Unless this thing part of me is also out. Part of me is also just like, should we let this go and go get rest for tomorrow, which could be a big day. Yeah, that may be a good idea. Yeah. But at the same time, I want to see him be like, shit. I don't want to miss something either. Yeah. <laughs> There's always Red Bulls and five hour energies. Yeah, and tomorrow's our last chase day. Yeah. Still has a healthy echo top on it. We'll stay here for just a bit. Give about 15 more minutes and then we'll decide if we're going to go north or not. Okay. Fizzling out, cycling, because the whole front side of it started to fizzle out snow. According to this, it has a hill core of 3.5 inches.
should start seeing a little more lightning coming over those trees. That has a tent over your house. The tent over my house? What do you, oh my gosh, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so no. This is Thursday. Mm hmm? 15% on Thursday. Thursday morning? No, Thursday evening. Absolutely refute it. You already seen it. There's no take backsies. What did they just hit? I just saw their front car go nuts. all night and get rest for what looks to be a decent day tomorrow or wait on this storm for another 30 minutes or so well I mean it's either get there at the hotel at 2 a.m. wake up at 8 a.m. or get there at 2 a.m. wake up at 8 a.m. there's not much in the car. yeah <laughs> At the very worst, something does come out of this. We whip a Yui and haul it. Hmm? If anything does come out of this and we're driving that way, we can always flip a Yui and haul it. That's true, I guess. Because <laughs> I don't have much faith in it at all. You don't? Mm -mm. My faith is dwindling. My foot's already on the brake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. For the record, it was Chris that was wanting to bail, not me. <laughs> All right, let's go. I uh, can't. Okay.
tornadoes today, unfortunately. Uh, no tornadoes to really catch today. None of the storms really produced much. Got some hail, or uh, there was hail, we didn't get any hail, but there was hail. Got a little bit of misty rain or the blue sky burst. Yeah, the rock. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow the storms come to us. Yeah. It'll be nice to go sleep in a little bit tomorrow. So I think we'll go ahead and start it. Uh, we will uh, do uh, chasers after dark. Go ahead and start it for the next 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes. And then we're cutting the stream for the night. That way we can be able to see the new uh, day one outlook, I guess. When does that come out? 12? Honestly, I'd say they're going to delay it. Okay. I'd say 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Okay. So we'll, we'll go ahead and start. They're going to watch, see what these storms do before they push out anything. That's true. So we'll go ahead and start it. Storm chasers or uh, chasers after dark. Any questions? Anything y'all want to talk about? Anything at all. Completely open for them to talk about whatever. about half asleep so I don't know what we'll be able to get to but yeah half asleep yeah I haven't had my medicine today and I haven't had and I haven't had a five hour energy there Mr. Perky Perky I'm good to go there's a question uh Chris how long have you been storm chasing since I was 16 so that's been Seven and a half years. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Seven and a half years. Been Chris has been storm chasing seven and a half years. Why would I join you in the mod voice chat when I'm talking to you right now, Q? <laughs> Are you talking about after? Oh, that hook is trying to cut it back. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> if something goes ape crazy, we put you in. Yeah, I mean, if something goes nuts with a storm that turn northwest, we'll easily turn around and go look. The only reason I don't think it's going to do anything is because the hill of court is <laughs> dying out. Okay. Maybe we may do mod voice chat after this, but we'll we'll stream for the next half hour or so. Yeah, I, saw, I see that glowing and it's, it's getting stuck together again. It's going to have to do a lot. Reflectivity looks better than velocity does. Mm -hmm. Velocity doesn't lie, don't we?
right, we'll be able to sleep in Thursday morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nah, some will happen. We'll probably end up in freaking North Dakota on, some, on Thursday. Um, Let's see, Homer Swoop's tightening. extremely exciting um, anybody that's experienced that it's extremely exciting but it's also extremely nerve-wracking as well it's something new um, definitely excited about it just hope everything is okay healthy baby obviously and wife's doing okay too so um, it's not something new so nervous and excited at the same time I guess that's why he brought me along because I'm a man child oh my god <laughs> Are you looking forward to the movie Twisters? Follow up, what are your favorite lines from Tesla Twister? Um, yeah, I mean, I think Twister's going to be a great movie. I just hope that they don't typically a, a second movie made about an, another great movie is not as good. So hopefully, it's hopefully it's as good. And I don't I don't think I don't think it'll be any better. But um, I don't know. I don't I don't really have any favorite quotes. I don't know. Probably the, we've got cows going across right there. Yes and no on Twisters. Yes on the... It might be good. Yep. But two, you're going to have a new Twisters movie. Yeah. So, you're going to have double the wannabe chasers now. Yeah, you're going to have chasers that are coming. <laughs> yeah. um, let's see. Update on your car. Somebody's asking for an update the on your car. The down, I don't know. He said the engine is down. He doesn't. He's not sure. It's a, it is under warranty, so he's good with that. But um, he's just got to put a new engine in it. Last time I was on chase, I did it too, though. But do what? There's some other things wrong with it too. From the engine going down, but they yeah. found that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that baby blanket. How do you feel about cows in a circle? Who is that? Do they know you? Oh, Chris, Casey something, Casey WX. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned that because Chris was talking about that yesterday. I've never heard that. He's he's heard it, but he he, he, knows, he, he goes and lives by it. If the cows are in a circle, means they know bad what's, your, what's your favorite bad storm chasing movie? Sharknado. Oh, Jesus, it's tasty. This is just called Louisiana, man. Uh, Sharknado was pretty bad. Oh my god, I watched something just the other day. I turned it on, then I turned it right back off. Uh, it's on uh, either Netflix or Amazon Prime. Uh, oh. oh my god, it's horrible. Uh, tornado Valley? Tornado? I don't remember. Just 
outside of Monroe. We're watching those two storms going back to our northwest. That's near the uh, Arklatex area. And then another one that's east of Homer. The one that we're watching <sighs> east of Homer uh, is starting to ramp up a little bit better. Um, so we're keeping an eye on it. We may make a U-turn have to go back to it.
West Monroe.
I actually don't live in Coleman. I live in Huntsville. I'm not sure where Stevenson is. Velocity on it. So reflectivity is very uh, impressive. Velocity is not, not yet at least. It just disconnected itself on the last side. See what reflectivity looks like. Look at velocity. Um, velocity shows nothing. Oh yeah, Stevenson, that's up near Scottsboro, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know where that's at, up, up in uh, Sand Mountain. Yeah, th there's reflectivity, you can kind of tell with like a hook echo on it, but you really need to be looking at velocity to tell, and, and the rotation is there. It's, 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 there's a little bit of rotation, but it's very, very, very weak very weak rotation. Consider what it was like chasing tornadoes before radar and technology. Um, 
there have been many times this year where you know radar we've, we've been too far away from radar to get stuff and you actually have to just go by visuals I wouldn't have seen uh, Zach, Zach Walters was with me that day and we would not have seen that tornado if we wouldn't have been able to diagnose what it looked like on like visually because we were so far away from radar that we couldn't tell so that's the only way that we were able to see that I think it was Winsboro and Mount Pleasant tornado just oh, because yeah. yeah because we were able to diagnose it and see, actually see what it looked like visually
probably not. Um, just because it's so hard to work with people's schedules and stuff like that. Um, plus, I've got plenty of people that I like that, that, you know, most teams don't work out. Because you're spending, I mean, Chris, if, if, we, if we chased every single stuff throughout her every single day, you'd probably want to kill me at some point. And I would probably want to kill you too. Well, you already want to kill me, so. What did I say then? Huh? What did I say I wanted to kill you? Well, I apologize for that death threat. I did not. <laughs> said it like four times. Did I? Oh. Yeah, I said you're going to kick my unit water. That, that, uh, that, <laughs> the kicking the ass isn't, isn't, uh, isn't about killing. But yeah, so. Clearly, that's a sore subject. Next question. <laughs> um, yeah, Storm near Lisbon is dead. So I guess I'm probably going to go ahead and end the stream. I think we're done for the night. Um, tomorrow could be a very, very big day. Um, I think that we're either going to get a huge wind event or we're going to get supercell tornadoes with a possible regional, even regional tornado outbreak um, if, if, we, if, the, if the type of uh, setup, if, if it actually sets up the way it looks like it may. Um, we won't really know the scope of how tomorrow is going to act until we see what these storms do overnight and how they impact the environment. Um, they could ruin the whole day. They could enhance things um, as well. Uh, so it's just we got we to watch all that tonight. Uh, the new outlook should be out in the next probably 10 to 20 minutes, I think, is when it comes out. It's 1230. Um, so be able to look at that. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Probably going to be an earlier afternoon. Uh, probably like one, one o'clock, two o'clock, something like that. Probably, I would guess. Uh, but uh, check back tomorrow. I'll, I'll schedule a stream in the morning, and then uh, we'll let you guys know where we're, we're going to go. We we could be anywhere from Mississippi over to Alabama, all the way over to Georgia. So it doesn't. Uh, we're putting ourselves in a position tonight to be able to get wherever. So um, just be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that way you get notifications when I go live. Um, and yeah, y'all be safe tonight, and we will see you guys for what has always been the big, the biggest day has always been tomorrow. That was always going to be the biggest day for chance, for chance for tornadoes. So, um, yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Send five-hour energies. <laughs> Send five-hour. See you guys.